And greetings, everybody. I am Seraph, and well, I'm Resplendent Seraph, and we are going to be playing Mech Warrior 5 today. I've had a little bit of a break. Uh, I ended up with a little bit of a cold. You could probably even still hear it on me, and it's been like three weeks. Uh, I was only sick for like four or five days, but uh, unfortunately, it's been harder to truly kick uh, with um, being able to actually still speak coherently. Uh, in the aftermath of that. So I felt I felt okay for the past two weeks, but s streaming really wasn't that much of an option if I was going to have any kind of vocal quality to uh, to these streams. So but welcome, everybody. I actually don't even remember where I'm at with MechWarrior 5. And uh, while we, uh, in just before we get started here, uh, to answer your question, Crosshair, I have a custom-built PC. Um, so it's an AMD... 7800 X3D processor in it, which is interesting because over the last month, one of the interesting bits of news is apparently <laughs> there's a Windows update that corrects something with the scheduler and the performance gains are apparently dramatic. And um, it's going to come out with the new Windows package, but there's also an optional update that you can kind of go in there and do. And as soon as you asked me the question of what kind of PC do you have, I went... You know, that's actually a good point because I don't think I went in there to find that optional update to do. But either way, uh, any every AMD user, once they get that um, that new Windows update, is going to be uh, a pretty happy camper. So in the event that I got it, I don't want to check for it now because it might just trigger a, hey, your PC is updated. You should reboot. And I'm like, yeah, I probably shouldn't do that live. But I may, I may mess around with that at the very end of stream just to check that way if it does prompt for that. It's like, cool, I'll sign out and then just let it let it reboot. But um, so it's possible it's already actually, it's possible when I was sick, I did it and I just don't remember. Um, I'm I'm inclined to think I haven't, but if uh, MechWarrior 5 seems to run even remotely noticeably better, uh, we might we might have a good reason why. Um, but no, I uh, so I, I've pre-built or um, rather I've custom built Every computer I've had since 1998. Um, so I don't I don't think I've had a pre-built since then. I can't think of one, uh, except for obviously my office computers. So, um, but yeah, I've uh, and I prefer ever since I would say the second generation Ryzen's. I've just uh, I've just preferred those from a price to performance ratio, and it's water cooled and everything else. I could take a couple of pictures of the of the computer and, and post it on my Discord if I haven't already. I thought I did, but maybe not. Um, but I could also post my my uh, my my PC specs should actually be on my Twitch profile. Uh, actually, they really should be. Um, I'm not going to check it at the moment. I'm almost positive it's on there though. If you really want a uh, a breakdown of it, so only reason I ask is because I have spare copy of Space Marine too. Oh, uh, I'm actually not familiar with Space Marine. Um, but uh, we could we 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 could talk about that because. Um, you were looking to do, uh, do something from a technology standpoint on stream. And now that I'm, now that I'm truly recovered, um, if you want to do that at some point this week, just, uh, just let me know and we'll, we'll, we'll set up something, uh, that works. So, uh, and then we could talk about, uh, Space Marine 2 at that point, but I'm very appreciative, but, um, let's get started with MechWarrior 5 and then we could catch up and chat as we, as we kind of get things started here. So let's fire up in game. I'm just glad Resplendent bot still works after not being called to action for the past couple of weeks. I was legitimately worried that my bot wouldn't really work properly. <laughs> they, uh, they sometimes like to do that. So let's fire this up. I'm also encouraged that MechWarrior 5 didn't have any kind of update to do. Okay, come on. There it goes. Okay. Perfect. Tomorrow night would be better if you want to do tomorrow because I work nine to five. But but yeah, outside of nine to five, that, that probably works. Right, single player. Let's load. Let's figure out where Seraph was. Okay, so we went to okay, so we're in Luthien. So we're still do alright, we're in the end. We're sort of approaching the end game of the campaign then. Did we Let's see, what did we what did we do last time? Have we actually... I don't think there's a good... The story up until this point. But I think we have killed... Um, yeah, because we've got his king crab. 
Yep. So there's the Ultra Auto Cannon Crab. And, uh, well, I don't see in the other King Crab. So maybe, maybe I put it in cold storage. I don't think I would have sold it. Now maybe we haven't taken out the leader of Black Inferno yet, but I think we I think we took out Black Inferno, and now we're trying to deal with the other. Yeah, there's there's the former leader of uh, Black Inferno's mech. Okay, so yeah, we have taken him out, and now we still have some other payback to do. Well, we've got ourselves a Marauder too, which is a decent mech. Uh, the Highlander is in the process of being repaired, and we got our Corsair getting up and running. Okay, and we only have 20 more days for the Corsair and 16 days for that. Okay, let's find out what we're doing here. Let's take a look at our operations. Let's take a look at our objective logs, because that's always important. Uh, high CPU game. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, my PC should be able to handle that. <laughs> uh, all right, so we got deliverance this is the big one. So how security is internal security force? The ISF has a problem that needs solving. Noble's been taking unsanctioned actions to lead siege to a city demanding tribute. Okay, so that's probably what we're going to want to do first. Uh, we still have a couple of these to do. These would be nice, but I think these are going to be all the way... I think these are going to be all the way down here. Yeah, that's the only problem. Is we'd have a lot of travel time. Like half a year to get to some of those. To take care of those. Yeah, Seraph really kind of missed... A lot of these. Those would have been good to do before. Um, Hazing of the Week is another one that would have been really good to do. And these are all pretty much in that general area. Although Crimson Crusade, that's not all that far from here. So we could do that one now. And then we have Solifot, which is the campaign mission uh, at the moment. So, okay, we've got a hero mech here, but I think we took a look at that hero mech and it was uninspired. So I'm not all that worried about that. Let us let's do a little bit of a warm up here. Let's do Crimson Crusade. Let's track this one instead of Deliverance since it's kind of up in our wheelhouse. Let's finally deal with this. Yeah, we were in Jingyang, we got roughed up and then we came to this industrial hub to sort of uh lick our wounds. So yeah, let's go here and let's do Crimson Crusade. We'll get a hero mech out of this deal. And this will be a nice warm-up as I reacclimate to this, having not uh, played this in a little while. <laughs> yeah, my computer, uh, my computer is pretty decent. I mean, it's not great, great. Like, it's not complete, complete top of the line, but it's fairly adequate. Let's see. We got to kill a bunch of things. We have a cantina. Let's at least take a look at that. Collect two Phoenix Hawk mechs. Oh, we might even have those. Uh, let's see. LRM. Okay, those are pretty decent. L we need five LRM 15 tier threes. LRM 15 tier three. All right, we have three of them and we would need five. Let's see if we can buy them. Yeah, we can't buy them. That's their own problem. All right, so we can't do that one at the moment. Let's take a look. Eh. I mean, we'll be able to... We'll probably be able to do this. So if we don't see any of the others... All right, collect two Phoenix Hawk mechs. Phoenix Hawks. Do we have two Phoenix Hawks? I think we have at least one. But I could be mistaken. Wow. Uh, damn, only one. We only have one. Shit. We got two ravens. Let's see. Mech market. Ooh, we could buy that Phoenix Hawk. All right. Let's do it. Let's buy this Phoenix Hawk. Obviously not. I mean, completion board. We're, we're still going to make some money and then we'll get double heat sinks out of the deal. This is totally worth it. Select items. Perfect. Done. Actually, I could put the Phoenix Hawk in storage just to strip it for part for parts, but I think, yeah, it's good. Perfect. Let's take a look. I do. I have a 4080 Super. I had a 3090, but um, as it turns out, 
the water block I had on it at the time, I didn't realize this. So when I came to the conclusion I was going to have to take apart the computer anyway, I just hedged my bets and replaced it with a 480 Super. But um, at the time, I thought the card itself uh, could possibly have been, you know, either damaged or it was dying or what have you. Because not without getting into the details of it. Um, but what it turned out was the pads weren't actually making contact with the VRMs. And so it was simply overheating. Uh, so anyway, uh, a friend of mine who repairs uh, computer components ended up with a free <laughs> ended up with a free 3090, but he gave his card, which was fairly high end, to uh, to another friend of mine. So it it ended up working out. Um, and I, I I didn't want to sell him the card because I didn't want to sell him a card that I thought was damaged. It it, it, it worked out. Um, but yeah, I've I've got a 48 Super. Actually, the 4080 Super runs well. Shocker that it runs better because it's actually got a heating solution that a cooling solution that works. But um, but yeah, the 4080 Super performs for me much better than the 3090 did. I uh, haven't upgraded my PC CPU and cooler and two GPUs. I'll have uh, 4080 and the Intel Arc Elder Ring Card Edition. Oh, nice. Yeah, there are a couple of, of uh, setups where having a dual GPU setup makes sense. Um, uh, just for me... For me, having a dual GPU setup doesn't really work for what I primarily do, but uh, that's a very, very nice setup. You will have a lot of fun gaming with that. Mwahaha. All right, so oh, more heads. So now we have much better missile damage. I don't know if that necessarily works for that, but we've got an archer where that really might make a lot of sense. Uh, the heat generation one is the really nice one out of that. Let's not mess around with this yet, but this is a good upgrade for this archer because we keep bringing this, and we might we might want to revisit this mech to upgrade it because it's amazing how long we've kept this mech in here and I haven't bothered upgrading it, but I should I should upgrade the missile warheads on it for all of that. I mean I could do that with the uh, well no not the stalker. But uh, what makes what might make sense? And then we've got this. Actually, we should should bring. Well, Highlander is going to be my mech. Um, we'll probably bring in the Atlas for the for the for the AI because the AI tends to run those pretty decently. And I'll keep the King Crab as my backup. Although this Agincourt really hits punches above its weight too sometimes, but uh, this King Crab is just so broken with those with those ultra auto cannons. It is absurd the amount of damage that thing can just squeeze out all the time. Um, yeah, we could take a look. I mean, again, I don't know what Space Marine Two is like yet. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, once I take a look at it, I'll let you know. I'll let you know if I'm, I'm if I'm on board with that or not. But but in theory, it could be fun. Uh, at some point, I got to do chain together. I got to play that because uh, somebody else wants to play that uh, with me, and I've never I've never played any of those parkour games. So I feel like I feel like I should at least play it a little before playing it on stream. Although it could be fun to literally just be playing it for the first first ever time on stream. But I don't want to put I don't want to put my friend. <laughs> through that while well, I because I'm sure if I didn't we would just be falling constantly <laughs> granted it'd be funny as hell for everybody else but uh but I feel like I owe it to him to at least uh set it up or uh play that enough so that uh I know it, at least I have a vague idea of uh of what I'm doing but yeah this atlas might be might be a good mech to bring in hell I might even just bring in that atlas instead of the archer here just because it should be so much more so much more uh survivable i think i feel like i would rather bring in the stalker as a missile boat but i would want to upgrade those lrm 20s to uh to better ones that would probably be better. Although if I could find a freaking better, I mean that's that stalker does have a guardian ECM. So even if it's not a hero mech per se, 
Yeah, we could we could work with this. Maybe I should take out the large lasers, put medium. You know what? I could do that. We'll we'll tinker around with that stalker in a minute. So I think I think we can make this stalker a better missile boat, boat than even that hero archer T. Just because by the virtue of the fact that it has fifteen more tons to play with. This one's got two LRM twenties and a Guardian ECM, and I'm thinking we could probably do something very similar to that. Although the Archer is a little faster, so it will be hit less. Boy, that is a substantial armor improvement. But we could... Mm, we'll, we'll see. Maybe what we'll do is we'll wait for the speed upgrade, and then we'll apply that to the Stalker and, and rework some of these. But either way, we've got, we've got work to do. We definitely have work to do. So in the meantime, we've got that Cantina. Let's go back over here. Let's deal with these J. Edgar units because that sounds like a lot of fun. And we, away we go here. Go to the contracts. Yep, campaign. This should be a cakewalk for us considering all, all, all this shit. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll go with salvage shares. Campaign, I'm not really sure what we're even doing here. We'll do one mission support, but otherwise we'll just go, we'll go max salvage here. We'll make, 700,000 sea bills and we'll get a decent amount of salvage. Well, all right. Let's at least make a million sea bills. <laughs> all right. Got our Highlander, got our Banshee. Do I go with the Marauder? Or do I go with the Corsair we just picked up? I feel like we should try the Corsair here instead of the Marauder 2. Because this ends up being much more heat. Although, man, the cooling on that's three. Or do I send it in with the Atlas? That Atlas is so well armored. I think we should send you in with that Atlas. I think that is the better plan. For now, we'll continue to send you in with that Archer T. For now. But we will revisit that in a minute. Okay. Do we have anybody... You're the lowest at 50. Do we have anybody better than that that isn't... Oh, Bradford. Right? Yeah, Bradford should be in there. Now, maybe Bradford was hurt. Oh, we got Curtis. Oh, but okay. But you guys don't have 60. Okay, that's why. Okay, in time, Fugati will be better. All right, let's do it. We got this. I just got a new CPU for my brother. It's a Ryzen 7950. Nice. Very nice. We've landed just outside of city limits, Commander. In order to take the area back from the Crimson Inclination, we need to clear a path for the 6th Arcab Legion. A lot can go wrong in a big operation like this, so I'll keep your wits about you. Let's get to work. Destroy the radar dishes directing the anti-aircraft fire. Once they've gone, our employer promises to land a few extra units to help you out. Fucking Along artillery. Base, all enemy artillery units must be eliminated. We don't have good intel on their location, so you will have to search for them. Or just wait until they start shooting at you. Yeah, of course they hit us. Enemy artillery is active. Keep moving, Commander. Of course it is. Ugh. Well, this is gonna suck. <laughs> it's my favorite thing, artillery. Good, you got that. I'm trying to figure out how to... Okay, so it's all in a line. Alright, so we'll just deal with it. We already got it. I did not know there would be artillery here. Otherwise, I would have gone and taken a faster mech. I can't wait till we get the speed upgrade. Then artillery isn't nearly going to be the utter pain in the ass that it is. 
I mean, at least at the moment, this isn't too bad. We could just avoid it. What annoys me is when the entire ground is red. It's like, really? Are you kidding me here? Fortunately, the Highlander's ability to jump will allow us to jump over the artillery explosions. So even if we're caught in a bunch of bullshit like this, it's not going to be too bad. Much better than if I were piloting an Atlas. Uh, I'm not going to be able to avoid that. So up we go. All right, we got a radar installation over here. We're almost to it. Yeah, I missed it. Come on. Thank you. Ah. I missed it pretty badly. Now we just fight through everything. Oh my god. Good. Good, got it. Nice job. And of course, that doesn't have to... That's my other biggest gripe about artillery in this game. That turret was right in the middle of an artillery blast. And the art, that, that turret would not have taken any damage from the artillery that was coming in. Zero. It takes zero fucking damage. Which to me is like the biggest amount of bullshit on earth. I think the only thing that is even affected by artillery is me. And of course I gotta deal with other shit while that comes through. Come on. I know it's over there. Gotta deal with this turret. I know it's over there, unless one of my friends already took it out. Okay. Mm. Deal with that. Jesus. There you are. We got you. That one. I don't think the artillery mechanic diminishes as you take out artillery either. We got this guy. Okay, one of my friends took it out first. Works for me. Oh yeah, yeah. Come on. Go. We almost got it. Okay. Marching on through, taking out artillery. <laughs> Good. And thankfully, my friends with their large lasers. Come on. We almost got this. Okay, does that actually stop the artillery fire? Good. We still have to deal with that. All right, let's proceed to our target. We don't want to get too close to that star, otherwise the invasion will start and things get just completely crazy. So we'll deviate over this way. That wasn't that bad. At least it was kind of straight in a row, so we could just fight our way through everything. So we definitely want to destroy the satellite uplink, uplink so we have help. Alright, my lance looks okay. Actually, I think I'm the only one who took any damage from that. Looks like uh, the Banshee, the Atlas, and the Archer have taken zero damage. That works for me. Uh, I see it. I know it's out of there. Let's do some damage to you. Fine, we'll just fire. Overkill! Good. You guys destroy that satellite array. How much damage is it taking? Moderate. I don't 
see any reason to use ammo against it. It's almost gone. Nope, there was a turret. I think one of my lance mates took it out. Nope, it's hiding behind buildings. We'll find it in a second. It's probably a tank. I'm guessing it'll be destroyed by the time I get to it, but we'll find out. Peekaboo tank, are you over here? Or did one of my lance mates take you out? Oh. New target, Vulcan. And we got a Vulcan over here. Missed it. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Oh, that sounds like a raid. Destroy that. Greetings, raiders! One of these days I gotta actually uh, change the raid music on that. Give me just two seconds. Oh, of course there's more freaking... I hate artillery so much. Uh, so, you guys come at an interesting time. Give me two seconds. Oh, that thing's got really fucked up. So we gotta destroy a bunch of mechs here. Bear with me. Uh, destroyed that one. Oh boy. And we got some incomings here. So greetings. Ah, yes. Ultimate Warrior was supposed to be the placeholder. <laughs> Yeah, I know how that goes. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Although I love fucking Ultimate Warrior there. Fucking artillery. I hate artillery so much. Oh, I can't believe I hit that VTOL at that range. Yeah, artillery is going to hit me because of course it is. Oh, what the fuck just hit me? Enough of that. Destroy that with extreme prejudice. Damn. I don't even see that fucker, but that'll destroy it. Ugh. God damn it. I swear, if I could figure out who is responsible for this fetid, absolutely fetid, um, artillery system. It's so awful. Oh, we got a J. Edgar unit. Let's deal with this. Ah, damn it. Oh, yep, got to jump. Got that one dealt with. <sighs> All right, let's just clean up this area here. Ow, oh, I missed it. Still got it there. Oh, Jesus. Jump, 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 jump. This is such an unbelievable pain in the ass. Alright, you're dead. Let's deal with you. Where are you? Okay, you're dead. Jump. Oh, and we got a jump ship coming in because we didn't have enough deal to deal with. Like, are you fucking kidding me right now? I'm really missing a lot of my shots with the uh, gauze rifle. That is not good. <laughs> I appreciate the lurk, Freakbot. Sorry, I uh, this has gotten a little crazy. Ugh. Where is this turret? It's got to be a turret, right? It's got to be a turret. I just want to deal with the fucking turret. Thank you. Got to deal with that. Boy, what if I, what I would do to be able to just take out that artillery? It's all over there, huh? All right, you know what? Let's let's go deal with this. Since it's right over here, yeah, 
that one. Oh, come on. Thank you. Pain in the ass. Hit it that time. <laughs> there we go. Alright, have we gotten rid of the artillery now? That would be really nice if we could. Because that artillery is really super annoying. Alright. Yes, welcome Rob, welcome Freakbot, welcome everybody! Uh, <laughs> I am Seraph, Resplendent Seraph. Normally I play a bunch of chill RPGs, but uh, at the moment we are uh, we are playing Mac Warrior 5 for better or worse. Oh, come on, I thought we got rid of all the artillery. Apparently not. How much closer do I have to be for this thing? All right, now it's gonna capture, thank you. I just have to continue to avoid the artillery because fuck me, I guess. That's why. Good, someone destroyed it. Walk. Now, once we capture this facility, we're going to have another wave of uh, enemies trying to come in. <clears throat> yep, and there's... Oh. Damn it. Fucking structures in the way. I should be able to drop that fucking air on it. Damn it. Oh, and of course I got this artillery coming. Probably gonna miss anyway, because, you know, whatever. I mean, may as well, right? Yeah, I missed it. But yeah, it's really hard to fight all these things when you're constantly getting bombarded by artillery. Which I guess is quote-unquote realistic, whatever. But it's kind of bullshit that it doesn't... It just... It's not realistic when you're the only person the artillery can actually damage. Yeah, the only reason it went smoothly is because we're so much higher level than the things we're supposed to be dealing with right now. If we came in with the equipment we were supposed to, we would have gotten jacked up in that, thanks to that stupid-ass artillery. Whatever. Uh, we don't have any Vulcans, so let's take two Vulcans. That works. Cool. Now if we get a, a Cantina mission for it. And again, my fucking Lance mates not pulling their fucking weight, although at least Fugade took out a decent number of, uh, wow, actually took out five mechs. You know what? I got, I, you know what? I got to take back back. Uh, Fugade at least did a decent amount, but yeah, I mean, Deal and fucking Delaney here did jack shit. Doesn't exactly help things when you're, when your lance mates don't pull their own weight. But greetings, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> oh, so we're fighting, uh, a, a, uh, hero, uh, I think it's, uh, from the DLC Heroes of the Inner Sphere. Uh, the actual campaign, mini campaign, is called Crimson Crusade. We get a decent number of these. So, to the mercenary commander, the dragon thanks you for successfully claiming a landing site for the Six Arkeb. Thanks to your efforts, the Legion was able to successfully push against the capital city and have freed Naja of the Crimson Inclination's delusions of grandeur. Sadly, that cockroach Franson and a number of his supporters have escaped and have fled the system. Their surviving forces are too insignificant to dedicate an entire regiment to track down. But House Kirita wishes to see High Lord Franson dead before he can amass more followers to his cause. We wish for your unit to take up the hunt and eliminate Franson and his lackeys once and for all. To assist you in this matter, we are transferring your contact to the Draconis Combine's internal security force. An ISF liaison will provide your CO with all the info on what they believe is Franson's safe house. You are to act on the ISF's information and eliminate any Crimson Inclination safe house you might find, and report directly back to the ISF on your findings. Together, we will root out these fanatics and end their threat to the Combine for good. Yeah, fuck. God, there used to be a mod that would disable artillery entirely, and that was an amazing mod. Um, and that was like a couple of game... <laughs> it was like a couple of game versions ago. But if I could find one that actually works, or if anybody knows of one that actually works, please let me know. Because that 
that is just such a quality of life improvement uh, for this. Outside of the artillery, the game is so much fun. It's almost like somebody there was like, oh my god, this is so much fun. And it's not. We want to make sure the player definitely experiences it. Even if they take out the artillery on the map, we will respawn more just to make sure they have to deal with it. Like, thanks. Thanks. We appreciate that. Uh, all right. So we got to go here. All right. So let's let's go repair. Fortunately, we didn't get all that damaged. Wow, that, that guy didn't take practically any damage. To Manendorf we go. And hopefully we get a little less chaos. <laughs> but welcome everybody. How is everybody's weekend doing? Thank you for spending the conclusion of your weekend uh, here with me while we return. While I enjoy my return to streaming here. Let's see what kind of bullshit we have to do with here. The guys have tracked down Franson and his followers and sent us their coordinates. Hopefully we can catch them off guard while they resupply. Get down there and destroy everything. My guess is that we'll still have some. Usually if you're dealing with artillery in one campaign mission uh, chain, you usually have to deal with it with like a bunch of them. Um, you know what? No, we're, we're not going to bother with that. We will take the salvage shares. But let's go with half a million sea bills and then we'll, yeah, we'll just go salvage. We got, uh, wow, mission starts in nine days. Uh, well, let's, in the interest of not waiting, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? That Thunderbolt was actually fairly fun. We also have a King Crab we can take in. We could take this Corsair. In my experience, the Corsair really isn't that fun of a mech to pilot. It's uh, it's better if it's like an AI mech, uh, in my experience. Or we could take the Agincourt, which is at least a little bit faster. In the event that we do have to deal with artillery, at least I should have a little bit more mobility. Um, well, we actually have a uh, a Victor uh, that we could send too that has jump jets. We could go with this Victor, and that AC-20 really helps uh, <laughs> fuck shit up. I just don't know if I feel comfortable uh, taking that Armor 368. Uh, yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather just take Agincourt here. Let's, let's take Agincourt. It's a little faster. It tends to kill mechs pretty fast. We'll go with this. We know from experience that that's a good backup mech. Attention. One of the nice things about this campaign is we'll end up with a decent 60 ton heavy mech that's hero. That's really fast. So depending on the mission, it's cool to have. The Crimson Inclination seem to have taken refuge in this area. House Carita wants us to eliminate them before they have a chance to regroup and rebuild into something that can threaten civilian populations again. Oh, nice. It must be a fun game. Right, it looks like it's a... Wow, that didn't kill you? Thank you. That VTOL is on our list of targets. Let's make our quarter. Thank you. Out of range. Fuck it. <laughs> I really didn't want to fire all those LRMs, so I, I I was kind of hoping to keep the ammo on it, but whatever. Target person. Guess we'll see what we're doing here. This is gonna be capture. Yeah, that's the only problem with this mech is it likes to overheat. Let's 
Let's re, uh, let's do a little bit of, uh, evasive. Oh. Uh, if I had known this was going to be a demolition, I would have brought airstrike support. We would have dropped a fucking airstrike on this place. Good. Destroys that. Hopefully we could destroy this thing pretty quick here. I wonder if I'm just not seeing something in the info of that, because it doesn't tell you that it's a demolition mission. It just says campaign. <laughs> I would kill to know it would have been like a true demolition mission, because again, I would have, uh, I would have absolutely sent a, um, I would have absolutely sent a, um, I would have, uh, bought airstrike support. Just walk through this. It's just easier sometimes. Let's see, can I walk through this and damage it? It's the quickest way to destroy this. Good, that's probably gonna be fastest. <laughs> Straight. It's the easiest thing. It's just faster. Oh, we got VTOLs coming in. Got it. Probably a tank over there. Come on. Park in your garage. <laughs> That's a tank over there, but fuck it. Let's just finish destroying this place. That's the turret that came online. Okay, got it. Yeah, we got mechs. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Ho <laughs> Jacked up that mech. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah, let's deal with uh, some of this. We're in pretty good shape. Deal with you. Another J. Edgar unit. Good. What do we got? Laser platform. Take that, you little bastard. <laughs> Alright, we've done our damage. Let's get the hell out now. So the reason I stuck around a little bit there... Again, those Cantina missions... They are very, very helpful in the grand scheme of things. They're really going to help out with some of our upgrades. And for the amount of damage we took... It was absolutely worth taking that little minuscule bits of damage to deal with those others. Yeah, I'm really glad I didn't wait for the Highlander. I'm glad we just kind of took that and ran with the mission there. Okay, but Seraph's getting back into the fold of this. Oh, wait, man, it didn't give us any of those mechs, really? Is least going to give us... No, it's not going to give us anything good. All right, fine. I guess we'll just take what we can get. I would have been better off taking money. Well, they're not all winners. 
<laughs> Whoops. Did I just... Ugh, shit. Uh, good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I must have clicked things accidentally. All right, so you leveled up. That is excellent. Good. Wow, you took zero damage. Nice. Very minimal damage all around. All right, the ISF thanks you for your diligence on flushing out this <laughs> Crimson Inclination Vermin. Our DEST cleanup teams have investigated the safe house you destroyed and have uncovered a number of documents at the scene. It will take time to piece together a full picture of the Crimson Inclination's greater network, but early examinations indicate that Franson and a number of his top lieutenants were not present during your attack. It means we're, we've got more work to do. We believe that he and his top staff were off-world attempting to contact an unknown sponsor an attempt uh, in an effort to resupply their forces. Naturally, we cannot allow for this to happen. Although it will take time to unravel the Inclination's greater network, we believe we have located Lord Franson himself in the Ardo system. Our sources cite that he pilots a heavily modified dragon battle mech. We want you to travel to Ardo's and put an end to his ambitions once and for all, and that dragon battle mech is going to be our spoils for this little sojourn. Pair all that. And we're going to put these Vulcans in cold storage. Good deal. Before our uh, contract comes up. So now we're being... Ardos. There we are. Perfect. My Highlander will be ready by then. And this is probably going to be an assassination mission. In all likelihood. So, okay, and so here's... Yeah, so yeah, we, we we need to get up to 25. I'm glad I stuck around and got a nice, like, three free J. Edgar units. We're almost uh, to our... Um, these warrior units are those VTOLs. So we're almost there with that. That will be nice. We're getting very, very close. Ooh, and this is gonna... This is actually really tough. That's interesting. But we're marking our, also getting our way over in House Kirita to more positive territory. And I'd rather spend the time here than, um, yeah, let's make some money. Let's, let's get our war chest back up and running. And besides, we're not getting fantastic salvage from some of these things anyway. But now, there's my Highlander. There's my Highlander. <laughs> so we are ready. All in all, this is going very well. It's all, it's coming back to me, even with the layover. Um, and that's such an awesome mech, the Atlas. Oh, we got something firing on us already. Something's firing a lot of LRMs. Alright, well, we're going right into the shit. Let's do it. That is true. Hi, Lord Franson. For someone looking to tear down the social order, he certainly thinks highly of himself. Though I suppose you'd have a big ego too if you had a custom dragon to call your own. Our intel from the governing body tells us he's acquired one through his army of followers. Looks Oops. like we're at the wrong place, Commander. Our target must have given us a slip. Let's check out the other locations. Now let's go over here. Because we'll have high ground. Enemy vehicle in area. Direct hit. Target destroyed. Mm. I'm not seeing our targets at this location. Make way to the next nav point. We might have oil up there. Target right on cue. Beetle on approach. We got it. Target destroyed. Alright. 
But we did kind of stir up the beehive over here, so let's just peek over. We'll deal with it. Good deal. Because they're going to come in through here, so let's just funnel them right through this bottleneck. Good deal. This is going to be an advantageous spot for us, rather than having to fight these guys over uh, a gigantic... Wow, really? Ooh, whoop. There he is. He came in from the other side. Oh, shit, they pincered us. There we go. Damn. He's hitting us pretty good. We got him. It's over. Let's retreat over to this general area. We got a mech to deal with over here. Alright, let's fight over here. So I want to deal with this catapult. And then we can come back and fight those things if we really want to. I know there's a VTOL over there. I saw it. Let's just fire two. Good. Check it out. Now, where's this asshole? Okay, good. You're firing at the catapult. That's perfect. Come on. Give me a... You're not going to get away with that. Oh, yeah. Really fucked you guys up. Right, let's deal with this shit. Oh, boy. We got a bunch over there. Okay, that's... Let's retreat. Let's retreat to our fucking airship here. Oh, I thought I would fucking hit... Yeah, I'm going to lose target on the side on that. Ah, I can't hit from there. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we, we shot it. Someone shot it down. Wasn't me, but... There's the serum carrier. <laughs> Got it that time. Enemy mech destroyed. Yeah, I didn't think so. Come on. I got you. Oh. Fuck you in particular. Somebody else got it first. Not that we had to fight them, but we had the ship here providing some extra support. And I felt like that was worth it for the extra salvage that we were going to pick up from that. Oh, somebody else showed up. But we had high ground, an opportunity to retreat if any of us had any kind of armor blow-throughs. Got a blackjack out of the deal. Uh, we already have two blackjacks. I'd rather have the two large lasers, actually. Yeah, I would rather have the two large lasers. All right, let's do that. I still have 12. Mm. Ooh, anti-missile system. Those are super rare. And yeah, we'll take tier four of that. Okay. What else we got? Anything cool? Now we just got a bunch of this shit. All right, well, we'll take it. We will take it. Okay. Job rewards. We killed 30 warrior units. We got ourselves a narc missile beacon, which is probably not something I'm going to use. But we're getting closer to 10 war dog. All right. Commander, the ISF has confirmed that Lord Franson is dead. Woohoo! Yeah, we were in the neighborhood, right, right? We were in the neighborhood. We were already there. <laughs> uh, further examination of the documents recovered on Manendorf have unveiled that High Lord Franson had made contact with House Steiner Loki agents and entered a deal with them. Loki appears to be financially propping up the Crimson Inclination in order to wage a proxy war with the regional warlords. We believe that without High Lord Franson, Crimson Inclination's deal with Loki falls apart. 
Our analysts believe that the Crimson Indel Inclination's remaining leadership still intends to make contact with House Steiner's Loki agents in an attempt to resupply their depleted forces, with one of their surviving members posing as Franson himself. This operation has grown bigger than the Crimson Inclination and is now of the utmost importance to not only crush the Crimson Inclination, but unveil and capture these Loki agents. So this is about to get interesting. All right. So let us repair. Yeah, that was so worth it. <laughs> that was definitely worth it. We got 26 days for our most damaged mech. Onwards to... Where were we? Where we are going to deliver the coup de grace to the Crimson Inclination. And with any luck whatsoever, we will have restored our rep with House Kirita. Let's see. Yep, still got a couple of more of these. It'd be nice if we could encounter some, either some Rifleman, some Orion, or a Thunderbolt. I don't think we will, but it would be nice. Let's see what the story is. Let's deal with, uh, let's go take a look at this. This is it, the final point of contention. We got, okay, so we got some shit visibility. That's not gonna be great. If we can gain victory here, we will rout the rebellion and expose the Loki agents and everyone in the system can rest a little easier. Get down there and end this conflict once and for all. All right, so let's do this. Yeah, we're still suspicious, but boy, we're getting closer. Yeah, I'm thinking we just go max salvage here. Fuck it. Because of the heavy weather, your visibility will be compromised 13 days. on this mission, Commander. Stay frosty. All right, we'll put you in that Corsair. Mission starts in two days. We'll do that. I will wait two days. I just didn't want to wait 13 days. I think we're okay with this. Let's do this. We'll wait the two days. And then we will drop. Incoming message from our contact in the 6th Arcav Legion. Commander, Brigadier General Razowski here. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But time is of the essence. I'll be brief. The few remaining Crimson Inclination members are attempting to meet with House Steiner operatives about a possible arms deal. Naturally, this is a problem for House Curita, but the brass feel a show of force would only tip off the Inclination's foreign handlers. This, we hope, is where you come in. We want you to run an interception role for our small strike force, drawing the Inclination's mech into an ambush at the nearby ravine. The buggy terrain should make mobility difficult for them, trapping them, and allowing my forces to move in and put an end to this once and for all. I've already supplied your CO with the location. I know we're asking a lot from you, but rest assured, you will be handsomely compensated. Razorski out. So where the bit? There's a smart way to go about this, Commander. Stealth is key to success. I have readings for a number of detection installations around that you should disable before they alert the inclination to your presence. See anything there? And they're also not expecting an assault lance. I got a new, uh, I just got a new overlay for my stream. Nice. I'll check that out. Use jump jets to dislodge from the swamp. It should make navigating through it easier. Yeah, I'm really glad I took the uh, Highlander for this purpose. Yeah, this swamp really does bog things down. Oh my god. Nice shot, Seraph. <laughs> So if I can avoid the swamp, I'll have to... Damn. We're not going anywhere near that thing. We got to destroy it. Okay, got it. Okay, 
right, so far so good. Yeah, I'm still benefiting from ECM. The ECM really does end up making a difference. I have I've done some uh, like comparison, uh, compare and contrasts, and boy, I find I take so much less damage when um, I'm in a lance where ECM is along for the ride. <laughs> nobody else, nobody other surprises. Okay, that looks like swamp marshland. Let's stay up up here. Hmm. Set the mech on autopilot for a minute. <laughs> Missions like this, the tension really does work. Hey, <laughs> Dark Star. <laughs> Wait. I think I'm supposed to go a different way. The map's a little off. They re they're... Oh, fuck. Alright, we're gonna have to go through a little bit of the swamp land. Shooting the wrong thing. Let's deal with the scorpion light tank. Deal with you. Yeah. Jesus. That could have done a lot of damage. Nope. Not today, turrets. Not today. Yeah, that SRM carrier, holy crap, that could have really damaged us. Let's deviate a little this way, just in case something else decides to pay us a nice visit down that hill. I think this is a repair bay, is it? Nope, it's not. But it would have been nice. Had to at least look. Good, you're... Jesus, you guys... Should have still damaged... We should still destroy that with the amount of missiles that were landing there. Even though we lost target lock, I'm thinking we still destroyed it behind that mount... Uh, behind that boulder. How are you doing, Dark Star? From what I gather from uh, both the internet, social media, and your uh, your chats in uh, in Freakbot's uh, stream, I'm guessing wrestling has gotten uh, particularly bonkers again lately. <laughs> okay. Yep, we destroyed it. I was right. Based on the sheer amount of ordnance we had launched in that area, I'm like, even with that, even with losing target lock, I didn't think that thing had stood a chance of surviving. Man, this has fucking ambush written all over it. Maybe not. I mean, I expected tanks to come out of both of both those sides, but yeah, no, apparently not. Okay, well, hey, I'll take it. <laughs> I would rather not be ambushed. Alright, well, they did. It's just a few minutes after I thought. Oh, we need this meeting to go through. Run down that mech. Don't let them get away. 
damn it. Fuck. Damn it. I guess I got too close to it. Well, this sucks. Our mission just got a lot harder. Oh, yeah. Here they come. <laughs> well, fuck it. That is what they pay us for. I think we need to bring back don't try this at home disclaimers before some kid gets killed again. <laughs> yeah. You would hope not, but yeah. Oh. Good job, guys. Resuming. Yeah. I hate losing target lock just the second before I fire. Or just the second after I fire. Like, thanks. I love wasting my uh, ammunition. I'm, no, I'm going to lose that one. Time to fight our way across the bridge. Okay, Commander. We've detected energy signatures for five battle mechs within the city. Use your agility to find and target all five. Once you've targeted them, lead them to the ambush point and join in the fun. There's It'll be like shooting target. fish in a barrel. We'll probably just take out this spider. Fuck it, may as well, right? <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be the end of that. Okay, we targeted you. Where's the other one? Here we go. Where's the rest? Where's the other one? Where's our other target? We got one more. Come on. Where is it? Where is our last battle mech? There you are. Okay. Should be everybody. Oh, nope. There's one more. Okay, so that's four. Where's our last one? Damn, where is our last one? Come on, let's lure them. We're supposed to target them. So I, I already targeted most of them, but uh, we're supposed to then lure them out this way. The problem is I don't see the fifth one. Fuck it. Looks like the game's decided to fuck me on this one. So fine, we'll just kill this. <laughs> There's one more. Let's just go find it. So the idea is you target them, you kind of run, and then you go into this ravine, and then the Draconis Combine has mechs that can help us deal with them. But our fifth mech is hiding in the city somewhere. Probably got stuck. So we didn't play out the mission the way um, we normally would. <laughs> but that's all right. As soon as we find this fifth one, it's going to tell us to retreat. And at this point, it's going to be four on one. So fuck them. We'll just light them up. Deal with it ourselves. There is a fifth mech in here somewhere. Somewhere. Where is our fifth mech? I guess we'll look this way first. Because usually they're over this way. There we are. Doesn't matter. Ow. Wants to prepare a surprise for 
a lighting in contact that the Crimson Inclination was attempting to meet. We owe you our thanks again, mercenary. I will not forget it. Coming in for extraction. It'll be interesting to see how our new friend repairs us. Yeah. All Legion battle mechs! Up for it, cross the kill zone! Fire at will! <laughs> yeah, the mission got a little glitched there thanks to that one dragon hanging back, but that's all right. Uh, we've all been there. I've had to reinstall OBS uh, uh, once upon a time, too. Sometimes you uh, you just do an upgrade and, you know, that's that's just it. Um, it kind of sucks. Not fun when you have to do that. Uh, we'll take the mask. No double heat sinks. But, uh, all right, I guess we'll just take LRMs or whatever is valuable. Sure. This works. All right. Really, guys? Really? Really, you motherfuckers? <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, there's our there's our hero dragon. Uh, and the mask allows it to go very fast. It's like a turbocharger for a mech. It's awesome, except the AI rarely uses it unless you're going faster than it. But so it goes. Anyway, we will claim that. Okay, so that was a very successful round of uh, missions here. I think we should go back to the industrial hub. And let's mess around. Uh, let's do that. And let's revisit. Now that we've completed a cantina mission, let's at least see if there's a new hero mech. And let's tinker. Let's do a little mech tinkering. Because I do like the idea of playing with the stalker and turning that into a better LRM boat. Doesn't look like uh, they're going to help us out here, are they? I don't see any hero mechs. No, no, no hero mechs. That's awesome. Okay, fair enough. We could go to Avon, though, and see what's up with the cantina. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the battle mechs. Is there anything else we really want to... You know what? Let's go to the equipment and let's see if there's anything really good to buy. I don't think there is, but we'll look anyway. Actually, LRM 15 plus Artemis. You know what? Let's do that. And let's buy the Streak SRM 2s. Those are very rare. Uh, yes. We'll buy those. Sure. Uh, we'll buy SRM Artemis half ammo. We will buy Streak SRM ammo. We don't need that. But we'll buy the Ultra AC half ammo. Okay. Let's take a look at our battle mechs here, and I don't think there's anything that we're really going to mess with here, but let's look anyway. Gauze. Did we get a better gauze rifle? I don't think so, but let's check. Yeah, that's the best gauze that we happen to have at the moment. That's just unfortunate, and that's probably as good as we're going to get there. Okay, so let's just... Let's just repair you. We'll repair you. We'll do a standard repair. Let's take a look at the stalker. Let's take a look at the loadout. Let's take a look at this and see what we can see what we can do with this. Because we've got a decent number of double heat sinks now. So, what we could do is we could try putting LRM-20s on this guy so that it is more useful. In fact, I think that's a good idea. Let's try that. Let's take out the large lasers. No, you know what? Let's put those large lasers back on. Seraph's going to be thinking about this for a second. Bear, bear with me. <laughs> bear with me while we tinker with this guy here. Uh, okay. Large lasers. You know what? Let's at least put good large lasers on there. It'll generate less heat and do more damage. 
Let's take out the single heat sinks. That's four tons we get to play with. Let's take a look at LRM 20s. I mean, we could also just substitute it with LRM 15s that are better. Um, granted, the Artemis ends up. Uh, I do like Artemis because it ends up dealing with like um, tighter missile clusters. They did end up doing more damage to individual locations. I I am a fan of that. So the typical LRM-15 is 7 tons. That's what we just got rid of. And these are 11 tons. So that's 4 tons more. We're going to have room for this. Hello, Cleo. Hi, honey. You actually come at a good time. You do. You come at a good time, cat. Hello, baby girl. How is my cat? Greetings, everybody. Everybody, my, my co-host, Cleo, who's uh, at my feet looking for a pet. All right. Standard LRM-20... LRM 20 plus Artemis. That is the question. That is the question. That is the question. Let's try it. Um, not this. Let's try this. Yeah, just looking at that, that's not going to be feasible. Okay, that answers that question. So, even the LRM-20 is not going to be feasible. Because I'm still over by two tons. Granted, I could take away the single... I could take away more heat sinks, but that's not going to work. I've already taken away a lot of heat sinks. So, let's put these on here. And what we'll do is we'll replace the LRM ammo with LRM Artemis ammo. Oh, I actually don't have a lot of LRM Artemis ammo. That's okay. We're going to replace this. Okay, we still have two... We still have two tons. So now, we'll put in a double heat sink. And we'll put in a double heat sink. And now it sinks the same amount of heat. But this mech now does significantly better damage. Let us also... Take away a single heat sink. Take away a single heat sink. Let's put another double heat sink. Okay. This will do better. Okay. Let's take a look and see what our medium lasers look like. We should have a shit ton of medium lasers. Alright, we got 20 tier 3s. So we could at least... Yeah, maybe I want to save the tier 4s. Because if I substitute all these, I'll only have 3 left. But we could at least... over enough. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do this. Okay. Significantly better firepower, better heat sinking, better armor, and now we're going to upgrade this guy. Yep. It's going to take 72 days because that's a very significant upgrade, but I think that's ultimately going to be worth it. Now, we do have some stuff in here. I like to keep these. Anchor turn is not necessary. So we're going to remove the anchor turn, but we are going to put potent warheads in here. And who boy, that's going to really help out our damage. <laughs> that is, uh, that is worth it for this. Okay. Complete. Yes. That will work. Okay. I won't have this stalker for a while, but that will make the stalker a much better missile boat than what I currently have. Let's put the dragon in cold storage. We don't need to keep that. We'll put that panther over there as well. Okay. I don't think there's anything I want to do for this Highlander at the moment. Same with that. All right. Yeah, it's unfortunate that they're not giving us anything here, but... It is what it is. Okay. Um, actually, let's take a look at the contracts. We could do some more arena battles. We got a four v a four v four. Hmm. We could do we could do one of these just to see. 
Ladonix Enterprises has a lance of mechs ready to fight you in the arena. They didn't set any weight class restrictions, so Solarimus Arms is happy to sponsor whatever lance you bring as long as you win. Well then, they should have chosen a mech limit. Fuck it, let's do this. Let's do a quick, let's do a quick match. We're gonna have fun. Let's, uh, let's completely ruin these fuckers. We'll bring the Atlas. Yeah. That works. That works. We'll spend a week. It's done. Ready. Let's see what we got to look like. The electricity is surging as this arena match is about to go down. You won't want to miss a moment of the action. deal with this and then I'm going to double back. Shoot, but now we can lost a metal appendage in spectacular fashion. Commander Mason sends another to the scrap heap. Wow, this is uh not even Yeah, we, we fought a light lance. I mean, I, of course it was going to be an absolute fucking curb stomping. Uh, even with all the freaking salvage, couldn't quite pick up a hunchback. That would have been nice. Well, I'll take up a mace. Sure, I guess we'll do this. Take SRM ammo, like right pole. Why not? We still gained some XP here, so that's good. I wonder, does that ever... Scrapyard scuffle. Two mission operation, huh? Scrapyards all across the interstate. Get it. This close quarters brawl. I mean, they're sort of interesting, but yeah, I don't really have any... Um, I mean, I could bring e quicker, kind of lighter mechs just to... Give them a little bit of a whirl. Especially since I took some damage. Let's see, what do, we have? what do they have for sale? Anything good? Okay, these are actually really good. Those are really good. So I will take those. Uh, what if there's LRM Artemis ammo? We'll buy that. I have plenty of SRM ammo. But we'll, yeah, all right. We'll take one of them. All right. Yeah, let's go to Avon. Let's see what they got there. It was worth it just to do one real quick, just to see what it was like. I think if I do enough of them, the difficulty will eventually go up. I just haven't done enough of them yet. But we'll re-equip a little bit. We'll look and see what we have for sale. What the fuck is a Loader King? I am not familiar with this mech. Something that came with the Arena uh, DLC. Hmm. I mean, it's actually kind of neat. But we do not need it. So here's your standard Highlander. It's got an AC-10. Uh, the, th the, the, uh, the 732B is way better. Actually, not too bad. Although we've already got one, but we already yeah, there's no reason to buy that one. We already have one. All right, well, let's take a look at the cantina. Collect two centurions. 
Okay, that's nice. So, that being the case, do we have two centurions? Do we have two centurions to even... Ugh. I don't. I don't. But that would be really nice. Mech market. There's centurions for sale? Shit. Oh, that would have been really nice. Because these are amazing weapons. Uh, we could have gotten our, our Victor Basilisk back up and running. And we could have given that another try. That's a real shame. We've never even met Hachimoto Chi fucking mech. Although that would be really nice to get. But we've we've not encountered it. So what's the point? Uh, we could go to the Draconis Badlands and at least try to do that. We're almost there with Treasure Hunter. Um, let's see, Seraph. What's Treasure Hunter Max? Treasure Hunter Max. The minus 2.5 weapon heat that actually is worth it to try to do. Fuck. Um, all right, let's do it. Let's do this one. That one breaks my heart that we can't do that. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, I could. I could just buy it and see if I could pick up another Centurion somewhere else, but I think we'll be okay. Let's do that. And now, all right, so we need to go up here to deal with that in a minute. Okay. Oh, we got a hero mech here. Hmm. 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 We could go here, see whatever hero mech this is, go up here, check this out and do that. Yeah, let's do that and then we'll double back for this campaign mission. Hopefully this is a good hero mech and it's worth our time. With any luck, it's either a hero Atlas or a hero Highlander. Those are the two that we're really hoping for now. And we might potentially find. Not the hero catapult. That is not what I was looking for. But let's at least take a look at it. It's actually neat. It's a short range kind of obliterator. I'm almost tempted to buy the fucking thing just so it's out of the hero circulation. Um, you know what? We'll do that. We'll buy it just so it's out of hero circulation. We'll just, we'll just do that. Just to do. Just to do. Uh, that way we don't have to worry about it showing up anymore. Let's take a look at equipment. Maybe there's something still good. Okay, well, we'll buy one more of those. <sighs> That's kind of lame. But, uh, I mean... Kind of where we're at. You know, it's not perfect, but it will do. I think we're okay here. Okay, LRM Artemis ammo we definitely need. That we definitely need. We will buy Streak SRM ammo. Okay. This being the case, let's take a look. Here's our Victor Basilisk. This is the thing that we, that I remember being a really neat mech, but boy, oh boy, have we had like the worst luck with that mech. But I think I'm still inclined to get the speed upgrade first before pulling it out of mothballs. But at the same time, at the same time, all right. I guess my better option. I guess my better judgment here. Let's at least pull the Basilisk back out. Let's do the loadout. Let's repair all. Let's try and see if we can get this guy back into a working state. Because this mech, I do remember being really fun to do. Really fun to use. Put the jump jets back on here. Okay. Now then. This mech in particular seems to function really well with the LB-10X Solid Slug. It really, really does. Of course, we only got two matching ones and all that, but we did just buy these, so we could just put these in here just as placeholders. It should still function, but you can even see, like this one does 11 damage and versus this one that just does 10 damage. 
the upgraded ones do substantially more but this one but i would do want them to match um, i'm thinking we'll just leave it there for now or i could put the tier four regular one in there these are more of like a shotgun whereas the solid slug it's literally putting in a solid slug into this into the shotgun so these tend to pepper the damage around a little bit more but it does more damage overall i could just go this route in the meantime you know what that's probably still more feasible just because it does so much so much damage so we'll go with that uh ah uh, we don't have a guardian ecm so Yeah, the disrupt mode range on it is terrible. But the hostile sensor modifier. Hmm, I think I'd rather just have the this one rather than the black market one. Uh, although the hostile accuracy modifier is so much better. All right, you know, we'll go with the black market countermeasures for now until I can find a guardian ECM. And we'll deal with that in all due time. I thought we found Streak SRMs in greater quantity, but I guess not. Here's my big issue with these. I guess what we'll do is we'll do Streak SRM 2, Streak SRM 2, and we'll do Streak SRM 2. That's the way to do this. And let's put in streak srm ammo put you in here it's 320 rounds so that's usually enough for just one srm6 so that should be enough ammo but way of what i'll do is streak srm half ammo over here that way it's still a little bit extra We've got four tons still to deal with Let's go up here. Let's go to a medium laser here. Put four, we'll put two tier four medium lasers in this guy. All right, that's pretty decent. Oh, and uh, LB10X ammo. Put you over here. That should be, should be enough ammo for that. Not perfect, but it's should be adequate. Should be adequate. It's going to take 70 days, but at least this mech will be out of mothballs. We'll start getting it back up and running, and hopefully this mech will finally be something that's a good alternate for us. That won't get jacked up left and right. Oh my god. We'll wait for the upgrades. But for now, that's decent. We'll live with that for now. Okay. Still think that was worth it. Really? Really? You guys are going to do that to me right now? Oh my god. All right, fine. All right, fine. Let's go up here. It is high reward. Well, you know what? Let's just go to Junizero. We'll see what the high reward quest is all about. And then once we go and do this, then we can circle back around and do that other campaign mission. Pirate Hunt. Many residents in the Rahasaleg military district pay only lip service to House Kirita. And the loyal service of the DCMS regiments drawn from their population remains likewise questionable. While the troops in this region follow orders, there are rogue elements within the district, and some have allowed their disloyal natures to corrupt their better selves. Taisa Lucas Ranta, formerly of the first Alton marked militia is one such fallen soul. When even his general could not curtail his outspoken anti Kurita attitudes, the Draconis Combine mustered soldiery was forced to step in. Instead of accepting his punishment, he led a portion of his loyal soldiers into our outer reaches of the Combine, embracing the life uh, a life of piracy. Such a show of disloyalty by a high ranking Combine warrior, and hailing from a unit intended to curtail rebellious activity, is not only embarrassing to the DCMS 
but if the traitor is not put down with prejudice, this situation could shatter the already weakening faith that people have in this region uh, in the coordinator. These deserters must be hunted down, not only to stop their activities, but to dissuade other Rehesalagans from a similar path. Be aware that Ranta himself might be difficult to confront at first. However, if you strip the protection his sub-commanders provide, he will have little choice but to face you on the battlefield himself. Your first target involves the liberation of a farming community Ranta's pirates have occupied. Their utter lack of honor may force them to use the locals as human shields, or they might raise farmland to distract you from your objectives. <laughs> Destroy any bandits you find in the area, but keep casualties among the peasantry to a minimum, and preserve as much agricultural property as possible, so this is probably going to be a defend mission. Uh, even peasants serve an important function for the dragon. All right, so we've, we've dealt with that. Let's take a look at our star map. So we may have a mission here that has a uh, job item. So let's take a look. Oh my God, a four mission operation? Yeah, no, I'd really rather not do that. Let's proceed to Arise, uh, Arise, and hopefully our item is actually here. Because sometimes you go to a place, you land, and then it turns out it's not even there. Which sucks. <laughs> so when they're talking about Rahasileg, that's the uh, country that formed in between the Lyran Commonwealth and the Draconis Combine. I should probably explain that really quick. Uh, ooh, we're in 3035. This was a very interesting year uh, in the setting. <laughs> uh, this is the Free Rahasileg Republic. And so we're over here trying to deal with... Uh, Elements that are sympathetic to the uh, Free Rehasselig Republic over here. So anyway, that's what's that's kind of what's going on. In the meantime, let's. Uh... Wow, it's, this is going to be a raid. Fuck. Okay, and these are going to be hard. Okay, that's all right. Yep, we're we're at the point now where we are uh, we're dealing with serious shit. But uh, oh wow, I spent a lot of money recovering that that thing but regardless we can now get some serious coin we're gonna go with the max salvage shares here let's go with some extra money here three million and i think we're we're gonna be okay here and hopefully we can not take one on the chin here is our stalker ready our stalker is ready let's go with our stalker here bringing in our atlas and all that i think we are ready let us Let's try this. All right, so we got ourselves a raid. Our employer wants a selected number of buildings taken out. Intel provided by them can only give the general area they're located at. You'll have to recon the precise objectives on site. This area is heavily guarded, so watch out for hostile reinforcements. All right, let's deal with this thing all the way over here first. And with any puts one of our targeted acquisitions somewhere in this location. If you get the chance, try searching for it in the area designated on your map. Target destroyed. Man, that was a tough tank. Jesus. Oh, it's going to be right in the middle, too. That sucks. All right, well, we're just going to have to deal with it. Let's clean up the other areas. And then we'll come back for that. But at least it's here. And we are going to have our work cut out for us. We are absolutely going to have our work cut out for us. So yeah, my plan at the moment... Because there's nothing there. See if you guys deal with that. Good. All right. Cool. I didn't have to waste my ammo. Uh, so we're gonna deal with the one in the all the way in the northeast corner, and then I'm gonna cycle back counterclockwise through the map and deal with that nav point in this. Well, actually, you know what? We could just keep going and just go in a straight line. You know what? We'll just go completely clockwise <coughs> rather than doubling back. We'll deal with the one all the way in the northeast, and then we'll circle all the way around. We'll deal with the one in the south. Problem is the two in the middle, they're gonna aggro two sites worth of mechs all at once, and that's gonna suck. That's our other issue. Is by doing this, we're gonna trigger a couple of uh, punishment spawns. That's a light mech. 
Oh, I missed it so bad. Didn't miss it that time. Alrighty then. Yeah, it's the only problem with this, or in lore, you know, stumbling across of uh, extra patrols than I wouldn't have normally. But I still think it's better to try to do this and defeat in detail, rather than tripping everything all at fucking once. Nice shot with that PPC, buddy. <laughs> I should have just let them with the missile volley deal with that VTOL. But it, sometimes it's really fun just to jump, get the shot, and still snipe with a gauze rifle. Oh, fuck that. Got it. Deal with this quick draw. Let's cool down for a minute. Where's this combat vehicle? Did they already get the combat vehicle, maybe? Dead. There. Okay, where's that vehicle that was coming in? Yeah, shit. We got another fucking troll. Let's head over here. I hit it. I'm gonna lose target lock before I get a shot another shot at it. Now let's just deal with that. Good, you got it. Perfect. Nice job deal with whatever we have to deal with over here. Man, somebody in my lance got it before I did. <laughs> Target neutralized. You guys got it? I don't think you hit it. I don't want to worry about my six. Let's deal with this laser platform. Unless you guys did get it. I don't think you did. Shit. Okay, well, there's that. There it is. Okay, now it's destroyed. <laughs> Stumpy robots, go! Looks like we're still okay. We took out one site. Now we just gotta march all the way down there. Fortunately, it's gonna be a hike, and we're probably gonna trigger or trip a bunch of other. Oh, fuck's sakes. Good. Thank you. So those SRM carriers do so much damage. I really didn't want to have to worry about one of them fucking us up and. From behind. I wonder how many patrols we're gonna trip as we go through this fucking map. Although what I could try to do... Here's what I could try to do. That's an interesting hypothesis. That's a very interesting hypothesis. That's very interesting. Okay. I am going to actually try going over here, going up on that ridge, and seeing if anything's over there that we can shoot at. And then we'll hop down here and we'll fight it over on this side, rather than having to go over there, maneuver, and have the other site also trip for us, fuckers. See that tank? 
I just don't know where it is. There it is. It's dead now. I think I just fired a bunch of SRMs into its corpse. Okay, good. Let's... We're close enough to it. Let's just head this way now. I think whatever was over there is now going to come over. And we should be able to fight it over here on our terms. Rather than over there in that fucking cauldron of... Um, just go full bore with the PPC. <laughs> hey, ghosty. Greetings, my friend. Good to see you. How are you? We're trying new tactics here. I'm trying to prevent uh, myself from fi uh, getting swarmed here. So we went close enough to it for those to activate. And what I'm hoping is that uh, the enemy is going to send its units over here so that we could fight them uh, kind of over here on our terms. But um, I'm not seeing them over here. So that's unfortunate. This may not work the way I kind of want it to. So maybe we do have to kind of go over here. Maybe we do have to kind of go back over here, go up this ridge and uh, see what happens. Let's try this again. I'm trying something new because I've, I've made this mistake. Oh, nice. <laughs> what? Ghosty lurking? You never do that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Partners in lurking. <laughs> yeah, you were on a couple of times over the last uh, couple of weeks. And uh, I know. Shocker. I was lurking some of your streams. Ooh, okay. Well, we'll do that. Well, we'll at least. Fine, if you're gonna sit over there, you can't shoot me. We'll go with this. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, back off. Back away, nice and slow. Let's let these guys cross over the ridge, and we'll fucking shoot the shit out of them when they cross this ridge. And that's a rifleman. It likes to be at long range. There we go. Well, yeah, that didn't work very well. Come on, asshole. Try it again. Perfect. I'm liking this. This is a good strategy. <laughs> Although my arms have taken a lot of damage, I'm not liking that, but it's only a matter of time before another one of those makes a mistake of coming across this ridge. Yeah, my Twitch been broke. Oh, that's so lame. Hey, Ziltoid, how do we feel about that? Oh, so lame. Thank you. <laughs> it took him a while. He just had to wake up. I know I saw another mech over here. Unless we destroyed it, but I don't think we did. I think it ran up here. Oh, here you are. Good, 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 good. That's what we wanted. Perfect. Nope. You sneaky little shit! I give you credit, bastard. Ah, of course he's shooting at me. Of course he is. Damn it! Nope, nope, nope. You're not gonna shoot me. Ah, damn it! He did hit me with that fucking hatchet. Not great. But we were able to deal with the one sites mechs and they're I'm actually really impressed that the AI thought to sneak around me. The Vindicator's the one that fucked it up. He came out a little too early. But if uh, the Vindicator doesn't come out that early, that would have been a really brilliant fucking ambush. Oh shit. 
second I start doing that. Cargo acquired. Shifting to your target, Commander. Come on, come on, guys. Go. Fine. Go up there and deal with them. Ugh. Come on, guys. Go up there and fucking sh fuck them up. I told you to fuck him up. Ugh. Why you no listen? All right. Uh, how do I switch? How do I switch again? Is it one? Yep, it is. Okay. Do 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 do. Let's have. Let's have some fun. Damn it, I did not want you going up there. I said a specific damn it. Fine. See what you do over here. You better not have suffered a fucking critical hit. I'll be really pissed. Mm. Fucking AI. Screwing things up. But at least we kind of uh, soften these guys up a little bit. Got you. Mm-hmm. That's the only problem. This heats up like a motherfucker. Really? Fine. Let's go over here. They better not lose that gauze rifle. That's what I'm more really concerned about. Oh well. If they do, they do. This is a nice atlas, though. I don't know. Maybe I should think about just using the atlas more often. Oh. Right as I loot. The only problem with the atlas is I can't jump. Come on. Don't walk in front of me, dude. Use target lock on it. Stuff out of you. <laughs> Little bastard. Okay. We can go this way now. Alright, looks like it's just armor. So far, so good. Nope. Up that tank. <laughs> Ooh, lit you the fuck up actually i am kind of liking this atlas maybe i should use this atlas a little more i mean yeah it doesn't have the sheer uh range of that gauze rifle but wasting things with the uh with this ac20 it's not bad or you know no this is an ac10 Probably that. Objective down. All right, let's get out. Commander, enemy dropship coming in right on top of you. Yeah, of course it is. We're gone though. Destroyed. We're inbound let's get the hell out of here. Get here as quickly as you can, Commander. Let's go up here. Let's get the high ground and see who they fucking try to deal with us. Got it. Boom! Yeah, that's fine. Shoot me all you want, you little bastards. What do we got? Ooh, we got an atlas. Ah, 
As soon as I saw the Highlander, I'm like, I could take that headshot and boom. <laughs> All right. What's the damage? I'm almost afraid to ask. Whoops. Thank you. Okay. Still my gauze rifle. Thank God. All right. I lost all the armor on that arm. But I still have the gauze rifle. Sweet. Where is it? It's over here somewhere. There we go, we got it. <laughs> it was hiding behind the armor. Or that uh, cannon. Alright, nicely done. No critical uh, setbacks. That's the important part. All right. Who boy. All right. So we ended up picking up uh, an LB-10X auto cannon. That was pretty nice. We didn't get an Atlas though. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. But you know what? We'll pick up the Dervish since we don't have one of those. Or do we take that Phoenix Hawk that has the hatchet on it? Ooh. We could take a Phoenix Hawk. Doesn't have the hatchet. Yeah, let's do that. We'll pick up a PPC. Sure, we'll go with the AC-10. See, double heat sinks by any chance? No? Nothing super awesome? Medium laser it is. That will do. The stalker seemed to be okay. But I think I'm inclined to keep going with it. Although I really should have gone back in there and taken a look at... Um, this is what I need to do. I really do need to do that. Let's repair. But yeah, the gauze, the gauze rifle took a uh, critical hit, so that was not great. That's, that's the only problem with that. You can go over there. Okay. That's going to be a problem. But I could bring in the King Crab for this next mission. Um, could do that. Could do that. You know, we, we've got a good backup lance of mechs. We've, we've got this, I think. Okay. What was I just thinking to do? Oh, right. Battle mechs. Let's go into the Stalker. Let's go into the weapon groups of this guy. Okay. That should be your primary... Large laser should be the secondary, and then I want you firing. Yeah, we'll do that. I think we'll go that route, and we'll see if the computer handles that a little bit better. Okay. We got an assassination mission. I think we could do this. All right. Good, we're starting to, ah, uh, because we've got inclement weather that's given us uh, bonuses here. I think we'll go half and half here. We'll go half. We'll just go half and half. We'll still make five million sea bills, and we should still have a decent amount of salvage. Heavy weather warning is in effect, Commander. Your visibility will be compromised. I'm gonna go with the King Crab. We'll go with the Awesome. You will go with the Corsair, and you're gonna go with the Archer T. Okay. Again. Not not too bad of a B team here. <laughs> as far as B teams go, this is not a bad B team. This is not a bad B team at all. Let's do it. We generally don't do this because we've been we the prime taking our time. But in order to do that, we must assassinate the pirate subcommander Shane Simitsu. He's nearby. Sweep the battlefield and take him out when you find him. We'll go this way. Uh, real quick. What are my weapon groups? 
Okay. That's how we do this. I sort of see why I do it that way. Okay. Good to know. So I can conserve ammunition. We'll go this way. Good old assassination mission. I love how the king crab has the uh, chicken foot legs. <laughs> and you can tell by the way it walks. I think it's this. Yep. It does look awesome. I'm showing nothing on scopes that can be identified as Damn it. targets. All right. We'll have to move on to the next nav point. We probably will still have to fight mechs, because of course we do. Enemy armor spotted. Good. Okay, good, you guys got it. Nice. Nice job, guys. Hit that. What? Thank you. Greetings. I appreciate that, Nate. Welcome. <laughs> Boy, thank you. We're in the middle of some uh, mech warrior if you just joined us. Don't know if you've been hanging out for a while or not. But playing some mech warrior here. We're having some fun with this uh, king crab. Just uh, turned a rifleman into slag. Oop, we got a tank or something behind. Oh. That's a turret. Wait, what has happened there? That was weird. I stopped and I couldn't go. Mm. I think you're going to get it. Yep, you got it. And you got that one too. Nice job. Perfect. Good, good, good. We'll go around this way. Oh my god. Ultra auto cannons are so amazing. The only issue, the sole issue, is that the AI doesn't use them the way it should. Um, but yeah, I love, I mean, this mech just obliterates shit because I've got four of these fucking things. <laughs> I mean, that rifleman didn't stand a chance. <laughs> this fire. Okay. Thank you, Major Deal. Like, I heard the firing at me. But yeah, I figured, uh, especially after playing uh, the normal fantasy game that we normally play, and instead it was cyberpunk, I'm like, you know what? I'm in the mood for some sci-fi today. <laughs> it's time for some battle tech action. Got that. But we do have something on our six, so let's deal with it now. I think you guys are going to deal with it. Come on, guys. All right, fine. I'll deal with it. You. Oh, fuck. Nice shot. I think that was Delaney. Uh, no, it was Fugate. Nice shot, Fugate. Holy shit. <laughs> Only problem. The king crab, anyway. You and you. Oh! Okay. Fortunately, we're probably gonna have to fight our way through all this shit. of jammed ones. Alright, I'm not, you know, deal with that. Okay. Where are you? You got that. 
Man, we took that fucking ambush right on the chin. Come on, come on. Wait. <laughs> but it didn't matter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How much ammo do I got? I still got a decent amount of ammo. Yeah, the only other drawback to the Ultra Auto Cannon 5 is... Um, it isn't really a precision long-ranged weapon like the AC-5 generally is. You can really snipe with an AC-5. Yeah, I didn't think that tar that tank was going to last long enough. So yeah, all in all, not a bad B-team. <laughs> yeah, this, this King Crab kills mechs so quickly. It is absolutely fucking savage. <laughs> It's really fun to pilot this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo that. Uh, that um, yeah, we'll take the one we don't have. Uh, yeah, we'll take the ooh, large laser or AC5. Well, the large laser. We're more likely to use that. Assuming there isn't like a double heat sink in here somewhere. Oh, we'll look. Well, no. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, let's take that medium mace. I really should start putting these on mechs at some point. Although it does weigh four tons. But still good to have. Yeah. That's <laughs> okay. You are to be commended for your restraint when the cowardly pirates attempted to use peasants as shields. However, you allowed many of the traitors to escape justice. To rectify this oversight and remain in the good graces of the professional soldiery liaison... You must complete the job. Gotta love working for the Draconis Combine. Ranta's band of traitors have gone to ground on a world renowned for its storms. You'll need to follow them and fight through the terrifying weather. Ranta's second in command is known, uh, believed to be in the area. Eliminate him and any of the deserters under his command, and the path to Ranta himself should become clear. So at this point, let's repair these. Put this over here. All right. So we're looking good here. I don't think there's anything good in the... Anything worth buying over there. But we'll take a look. So now we got to go over here to over Volta. We may as well just do it. Clark. And our primary lance is now repaired. I don't know, man. I'm kind of liking the Atlas R RS. I mean, it's just as lumbering in the as the Highlander, although I do like the fact that the Highlander could jump. That has proven to be helpful in the past, and we are starting to get closer with this. Ooh, we're really close on the Rifleman. Nice. Nothing here. But... Ooh, sure. Yeah, when we could buy top tier stuff at this point now I'm just taking the opportunity to do that we still have a decent amount of ammo so I'm not really yeah you know what we'll buy 
Good. Now I don't have to worry about Alarim Artemis Ann anymore. You know what? I might just do the same over here. Streak SRM. Streak SRMs for sale? Did I miss them? Ooh, I did. Good. Now at least if we do pilot the Basilisk and I lose some of those Streak SRMs, I have components that I can replace it with. We're now progressed along the timeline enough where we can actually really properly repair that mech if we need it. The problem is we, we got that mech and we got way too damaged way too early and we just couldn't replace any of the components we lost. It was kind of a shame. Contracts. Okay. Ooh, we could do a, uh, a Rahasileg mission. So that's interesting. Although I don't like going against independence. That's usually not great for us. I think we should just do this. So anyway, the coward Ranta remains elusive, afraid to face the might of the dragon directly. His second in command, however, harbors no such qualms. Fight through the storms on this planet and permanently remove Ranta's trusted subcommander from the chain of command. Tear down anyone who stands in your the way of your goal. Okay then. Let's um Still think we're doing okay with this. And now we're getting hmm, now, you know what? We need money. We do kind of need... I'll, I'd rather have half and half here. Might take some damage coverage. But in my experience, overall, as long as you're not getting wrecked constantly, you're better off just going this route Heavy over the long haul. Your visibility and sensor readings will be compromised out there. Why am I... Am I blind? There it is. Oh my god, the Highlander is still under... Still being repaired? Shit. Alright, well... Wow, 19 days? Fuck. Okay. I could go with the Basilisk and just try here. I don't like doing that because it doesn't have any upgrade slots. You know what, why don't I just go with the Atlas here? Yeah, I'll just go with the Atlas. It's not perfect, but it, it kind of just is what it is here. Um, let's go in here. Let's go paint mech. Let's uh, apply all. We'll select none. And now we'll select uh, the stalker, the atlas, and uh, what was the other one? Oh, the king crab. Yeah, perfect. Apply. Better. Okay. There we go. That's better. That that looks much, much better. Oh, I should have applied it to the awesome, actually, while I was at it. So that it doesn't have this completely uh, horrendous. Apply all, select none, and yeah, awesome. Apply, perfect. Better. Okay, better. Let's do it. All right, we got this. And considering I'm starting to pilot the Atlas more often, I really should substitute the large lasers with something a little bit better. Although the problem with the ER large lasers is it just overheats so much. Maybe I should substitute the ER large lasers for something that doesn't generate quite as much heat. Or just go into the mech and see if I can tweak it a little bit. So that it cools a little better. Be prepared for heavy resistance. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, this, uh, this planet sucks. Let's just see if I can trigger anything. Let's see anything. I thought you said it looks clear. It looked clear. What about now? Hmm. Looks clear. I'm not seeing our targets at this location. Right. Make way to the next nav point. We might have more luck there. Let's cruise over here. If you find the acquisition, just walk up to it in order to pick it up. Damn it. Target destroyed. Oh, we got two of them. Fine. That works. Let's see what we got. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Cargo acquired. 
Nice. It's always nice to pick up an SRM too. Sucks to do this early because sometimes, uh, depending on what you pick up, maybe all the time, it will actually also uh, replenish your ammunition as well for really long missions. Really helpful. Where is it? Depending on what that is. Fucking trash can. They could do a lot of damage if you get close to it. Oh, bastard. Something over there has got a good range of missiles, so we gotta just advance. I can't just kite that stupid urban mech like I want. There we go. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Damn it. That's what that was the problem. Come on. There we go. Yeah, the problem is I can't really fire the uh, large lasers a lot of the time. Damn it. Yeah, I really didn't want to do this. Right, so we got this guy. You. Alright, let's deal with this. I've got to switch out the large lasers on this. They generate way too much heat. Uh, I think I fired it too fast. Everybody got him. Got it. Yeah, the heat management of this mech is garbage. Thanks to my decision to put ER... Uh, shitty ER large lasers on this. You know what, though? If I put a higher tier of ER large laser, they will generate less heat. So I just gotta, I just gotta revisit this mech. Um, all right. Well, before I start dealing with that, that's a turret. Yeah, I kept moving. Come on. God damn it. Thank you. You guys couldn't do that before for me. <laughs> it's not, yeah, not like you're on an ice planet, right? Yeah, on an ice planet, it would probably be fine, but. Or standing in water. Beginning recovery now. Standing in water can help sometimes too. Ooh, we just picked up an AC-20 level 3. That was pretty nice. I do, but yeah, my half my heat gauge revs up when I fire these two ER large lasers. Not great. Actually, it looks like the mech does vent it fairly decently. So maybe if I upgrade the tier of ER large laser, I might be able to still get away with using this. Might. Ugh. Thank you. This fucker's lucky those things were there. Good job, Delaney. We don't have to worry about that. Hell yeah, let's destroy that fucking thing. Oh boy, that's gonna be a problem though. This is gonna be a problem. Where's that Atlas? Right, deal with the rifleman first. That rifleman is what's going to hurt us the most. Okay. Yeah, you guys focus on that. This atlas is going to fuck me up bad. I think it was worth it to go for the head there. Come on. 
Damn it, Seraph. Get that headshot. Got it. Get out of here. Yeah, we're getting the, we're bugging out right now. <laughs> that was worth it. Good. Yeah, you guys, you guys, uh, engage. Fine. Got that turret. But yeah, we need to get the hell out of here before uh, it. Those friends can really put some hurting on us. Fortunately, I'm the only one that's all that damaged. We could just back off for a moment. Destroy that. Okay, okay we got it. Got it? Good. That was worth it. Perfect. Okay. I thought about playing games. And just sticking around to see what else we could kill. But at that point, I don't think it was worth it. Oh, there we go. Of course, I don't have enough shares to pick up that atlas. That would have been nice. Oh, well. I don't have a trebuchet. So maybe I should pick up the trebuchet. Um, okay, let's take the two tier four things. That's always a good idea. Let's take the tier four of that. We'll take the tier four of that. Um, as the only issue is I now one shy of the trebuchet. So, I don't think it's all that important to have that. So let's just go with these. Yeah. Actually, SRM 6. That's probably more likely to actually get used. We'll go with that. All right. No major losses. Everybody's still intact. We succeeded to the mission. We, and we got some major, major stuff. We picked up a tier 5 LRM-20. So we just boosted Mech Hunter. And now we're going to pick up a tier 5 LRM-10. Hell yeah! That was a big mission for us. We still have to do another pirate hunt, though. We finally located Ranta's bolt hole. A hidden base on one of the system's many moons. Our recon flights show that he has a heavy amount of muscle guarding him, but we're confident you're up to the task of taking him down once and for all. If you can corner him, beware, for he will fight like a demon to avoid death or capture. Alright, so one thing I think we are going to do here, there's, there's the other one. Let's, uh, let's see. 27 days, 27 days, doesn't really matter. All right, let's go to Luthien and let's let's repair, but let's also do some upgrades. Because yeah, we've we've definitely identified a uh, design flaw in the current way we have this Atlas RS set up. I actually do like the Atlas RS better than the Atlas D. This is this is kind of okay. Plus, we might be able to find some other cantina missions, but we definitely need to go into the loadout of this. Oh, actually, let's go into equipment and let's see if there are any really good. Uh, yes, we'll buy that. Perfect. So I have already have a pretty good idea of what we're doing with that. And yeah, let's buy an SRM streak too. Uh, yeah, let's buy an Ultra Auto Cannon 5 too while we're at it, just in case we lose one. So that wasn't perfect, but that's okay. Let's go into the loadout. Let's repair all, and let's just see what we've got for ER lasers. Damn, we've got a top tier one, short burst one. So we've got two short burst ER large lasers that are at least a little bit better. That might not be so bad because at least the heat on that is a little less than six. This is 10. So, I mean, damage 7. It's going to do a little less damage, but that would be a much better combination. These are generating how much heat? 10? Jeez. All right. For fuck's sakes, I could replace these with ERPPCs, and they're probably with these ERPPCs, and they would probably generate similar heat. 10. Oh my god, yeah, maybe I should think about that. That's a decision, chat. 
do we replace the ER large lasers with tier four ER PPCs and have a PPC fucking firing Atlas? That's worth thinking about. Alternatively, all right, large laser. Alternatively, I could replace these with just straight up tier four standard large lasers and they would generate 60% of the heat that they're generating now. Doing uh, similar damage, uh, actually doing slightly better damage. So I could just swap them out with large lasers straight up and my heat situation would be, um, would probably be similar. Um, hmm. That is an interesting question. Large lasers or ER PPCs? <laughs> these, these are the decisions. Uh, one thing I will do though, I'm going to take out this double, the single heat sink. I'm going to replace this with a double heat sink. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, definitely like that plan. AC 10. That is a good, that was a good decision to put this AC 10 in there. Cause this thing does just absolutely jack shit up. The LRM 15 is probably a good bet. Although boy, it would be interesting to toss in an Artemis weapon in there. The problem is it, again, you get into decisions of, of weight and all that. So here's a medium hard point. Is there anything better I could put into this medium hard point? Fuck. I could put an H. I could put an ultra auto cannon. I could put an ultra auto cannon five in that slot and save up some weight and replace this LRM 15 with an art. Hold on. Let's, let's think about that. Right? Not like, wait, what was, oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Th thank you. Twitch telling me my, my ad break ended, uh, instead of before. Hold on. Let's think about this. Right? I only have one auto cannon five. It weighs nine tons. This weighs 12. So it's a net difference of three, but um, I, I can tell you with experience, I will do more damage over time, over the long haul with an ultra auto cannon versus uh, ver with that ultra auto cannon five versus that AC 10. Uh, I, I, could, I could almost guarantee I would end up doing more damage. And also it's the fire rate. It's the sheer fire rate because you're getting you're taking that 10 damage over and over and over again uh versus this where you're just dealing with like 15 wait a couple of seconds recharge another 15 this is an intriguing see these this is fun for me <laughs> this is legitimately really fun for me to just like tweak things right um I'm, I am really tempted. You know what? Let's just do that just to see. Let's do this just to see how this will go, right? So Ultra Auto Cannon 5 ammo, Ultra Auto Cannon 5 ammo. Let's, let's do that, right? Um, so we're already uh, in the plus with that. Although I think I'll need to put in one more ammo with that. So, but we're still... We're still in the plus by one ton. Now let's take a look here. Let's take a look and see. Um, Learn 50. Uh, okay. So pretty similar. Pretty similar. T technically, the da it thinks the damage has gone down, but the damage really hasn't gone down. Um, but we could go with these tighter weapon clusters. Now, when you're dealing with LRM 10s and 5s, I don't like doing Artemis with that because you're not getting, for that extra ton that the weapon system takes on uh, for the targeting computer, to me, I don't think you're getting good bang for your buck, but it's only a ton no matter what class of the weapon it is. So at LRM 15 or LRM 20 level, all of a sudden, that extra ton for the tighter clusters that makes a really nice difference. Uh, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking that is actually worth it. So let's do that. LRM 15 plus Artemis. We'll take out the two LRM ammos here. 
We'll put in LRM Artemis ammo over here. Yep, LRM Artemis ammo. Put that there. Um, okay. Let's take out two single heat sinks here. Actually, hmm. That's the only issue with that. That's the only issue with that. Uh, all right, you know what? Against my better judgment, we'll do that. And we'll put a double heat sink over here. And we'll put a double heat sink over here. I don't like putting double heat sinks on the arms in case they get... Uh... In case they get totally fucked. That's the only issue with that. But... This is the time where we're dealing with these kind of decisions. And I've already fairly well maxed out the armor. So I don't think there's a whole lot more I could do armor-wise on this thing. So, maybe I will just... Seraph, Seraph, Seraph. Decisions, decisions. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's do this. Do one double heat sink over here. We'll do a double heat sink over here, and we'll put the LRM Armus ammo over here. Because so I don't like putting ammo in the center torso, because God forbid you get a critical hit to that, your mech explodes, and you're just out of the combat. At least this way, if I have an ammo explosion, yeah, it takes out these components with it, but it doesn't kill my mech. Okay. It now sinks a lot better heat. So now we need to revisit... The decision. I bought myself some time. Uh, oh, I still have two more tons to do. Uh, all right, double heat sink. Double heat sink. <laughs> this will this will really clear a lot of. You know what? Let's do the PPCs now then. Because even though I will fucking uh, go a little crazy with this, I think I'd rather be firing PPCs for the same heat as those ER large lasers. Oh, the PPC's way more than the ER large lasers. Okay, that's why I wasn't gonna go that route. Ah, that's why we can't do that. Okay, that's why we can't do that. But, okay, let me, let me revisit this. Let me revisit this. Now let's, all right, that being the case, Let's put the two small bursts in there. That way I still have distance, but they're going to fire at a smaller burst. They'll generate a little less heat. Hell, I might not even need all these fucking heat sinks now. But you know what? Let's just... Wow, it's going to take 75 days. Or do I not reinvent the wheel so badly? Okay. Back. Yeah, I know. I know. We just went through all that trouble. But uh, turns out I don't want to be down that far. So let's just take these out. Let's put... Let's put two, two of these in here. Still the same. The heat on it, though should be significantly better. Let's take out this one single heat sink and we'll put a double heat sink in its place. Still not crazy. We're still down 40 days, but uh, the mech will still heat. It'll still sink heat better. And it's going to essentially function similarly. Okay, start work. We're, we should be good. Now, do you have any upgrades? I did. I did put a couple upgrades on here. I think I'm waiting to get the, the speed upgrade. And that's... That makes sense. Okay. We're good. Let's repair you. Alright. So we didn't need to actually go to the industrial hub because we didn't really mess around much. Uh, that's alright. That is okay. Okay. Let's go take a look at the star map. We've got a uh, hero mech at Port Arthur, and we've got a patina at Kagoshima. 
I'm inclined, since we've got this over here, why don't we at least take a look at Port Arthur. Let's see what hero mech this is, just in case it's something amazing. It could be. We never know. Come on, come on, Hero Atlas or Hero Highlander. Hero Grasshopper. I'm not spending... I don't think I'm spending the money on that. Yeah, I'm not spending $20 million. Uh, 20 million sea bills, basically. Although it looks fucking awesome, right? This mech looks fucking awesome. Uh, but no, that's... That is beyond silly. That's not happening. Alright, maybe equipment. Is there anything here that was worth... Okay. SRM2s? Sure. That was actually, that was worth it. Believe it or not, that was actually worth it. Uh, and yes, well, because that's rare as shit, I'll take two halves. Okay. I don't think there's probably, there's probably not anything that's worth doing. Mm. Okay. You know what? For extra parts, I've got four of those. I don't think I need to worry about that, but you know what? Sure. We made we made that money. And now we've got good tier equipment that I don't have to worry about if we lose. It's just expensive, but now I can actually repair these mechs. Okay. Star map. Now we'll go cruise over to the cantina. Who knows? Maybe we'll find some better equipment. Excellent. Our atlas is now refitted. I might try just I might just try uh, that Atlas one more time with the uh, with these small burst ER medium uh, rather ER large lasers. Let's see what we've got. Oh, we're actually getting close to it though. So let's see. Kill three Zeus mechs. Mm, it's kind of shitty for that. We might even have that. Oh now we're talking. Alright. Collect three jump check class four. I think we've got that. If we're not we will hunt around for I think we are. I'm like, that's worth hunting around for. Good. Faster weapon cycling. That's pretty nice. Oh, we, we actually maxed it out. Sweet. Weapon cooldown time. It ends up being pretty decent. Go to the cantina. Alright, so we could do that. That's pretty shitty, but the double heat sink isn't terrible. Hmm. I mean, it's always nice to get extra money, but we really don't need... We probably are not going to need this. Oh, we got the two slots, so fuck it. You know what? Let's just accept them, because we could always say no. Did we already look here? I don't think we look here. Tier 4 stuff. Tier 4 stuff. Small lasers. All right, sure. Yeah. Why not? Sure, we'll buy one more of those, because they're super rare. Okay. Battle Max, Highlander, loadout. Mm hmm. Thank you. Boom. <laughs> worth it. Definitely fucking worth it. That'll take a week to substitute. All right. Now let's cruise up to Unity. God, that's a shitty jump ship route, but oh well, what can you do? And we'll do this assassination mission. Hopefully we don't lose this gauze rifle, but even if we do, we could just replace it with what we already had. I am a firm believer in always trying to put your best equipment in your mechs. Because you just never know. Ooh, we got a black market here. Let's at least take a look. Take a look and see what we got. Assault battle axe. Sure. I mean, they're top tier. If I, if I ever do... Okay, I've got six of those. I'm not worried about that. And I don't really care about those. Okay, there's really nothing. Mm, all right, you know what? Ooh, actually... That actually was worth it. Oops, uh, cantina. Is there a good cantina? Kill three stalker, collect two kintar... Ooh, I think we've got... Ooh, I think we've got those. Battle mix. Please tell me we've got Kentaros. Please tell me we've got Kentaros. 
We don't have Kentaros at all. I have zero Kentaros. Awesome. Awesome. Fuck, that sucks. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, that would have been nice. Uh... I mean, Kentaros usually are somewhat common in Kirita's space, but at the same time, fuck, that sucks. Um, man, that would be really nice to get a couple of uh, AC5 top tier auto cannons. Damn, man. Um. AC-20 max, max top tier shit, man. I think we're better off just doing this for right now. Because if it's... If you have to collect two and I don't have any by now... Fuck it. We'll go with this. Damn. Alright. Well, it is what it is. Okay. Confront the pirate Lucas Ranta at his hidden base in the asteroid field. Kill him and his band of deserters. Off in no quarter, no mercy. All deserters deserve death for defying the will of the dragon. All right. Well, yeah, this shit, this shit's probably going to get crazy. So, uh, we usually like to go with a decent number of salvage, but I do want to actually recoup some of that money that I just went spending. Uh, yeah, the mission airstrike, unfortunately, is just kind of sad. Yeah, let's try and make four million sea bills. And we'll at least have a decent amount of salvage. That should net us at least a decent mech. That we potentially could sell if we wanted to. But also a lot of good... At this point, we're getting enough good equipment from these. That I think the salvage is starting to be a little worth it. So we're basically going half and half. But mostly a little more salvage than pay. Okay. Now the big question. Do I bring in the Highlander, or do I go with this Atlas? I think I'm going to go with the Highlander. I think I'm going to go with this Highlander. But you are going to go with the Banshee. Uh, you are going to go... You are going to bring in the Atlas I just reconfigured. And you're going to come with the Stalker. All right. We should be good to go here. Let's ride, and let's see how this goes. Ah, uh, yes. The one only good thing about my HOA is I don't have to mow a lawn. Well, I hear missiles being launched. <laughs> so this is going to be a shit show. Let's see how bad. What the fuck is that, Byron? Alright. Now is time for the real target. Lucas Runter. He's terrorized this space for years and years. With his subcommanders dead, his back is against the wall. That being said, you should still expect him to fight tooth and nail. Looks like we got some bad intel. Our target is not here. That's fine. We have better look at the other Let's locations. Advance a little inland here. There is another enemy out there. I know it's out there. I saw it very briefly. There's going to be a turret flying around out of that. Any second now. Oh, okay. Somebody get that turret. Thank you. Yep, here you are. Oh, nope. Yep, there it is. Oh, you still got me. Even though I was looking right at it. Fucker. Bastard. All right. Fine. Let's double back. We'll go around it from this side. Yeah, the Atlas probably got a little held up by our dropship. After this match, I'll have to get some soda. I think, I think they're shooting at the leopard. <laughs> That's a really nice detail. All right, so, I think what we're better off doing here, I can't get up there the way I thought I could. All right, so we're gonna have to come over this way. Um, shit. 
Yeah, this is not ideal, but all right. Yeah, all right. Up here we go. I suppose I could shoot that building and see if anybody comes to investigate. I just hate these little choke points. All right, you know what? We're going to go with the Atlas first. The Atlas is a little more heavily armored. And if I'm going to be walking right into a firefight and taking one on the chin, I'm going to let this get shot at first. Yeah, that's a much better... Yeah, but we got to deal with it anyway. Not you. God damn it. I could have the option of fucking... You're dead. Got with you. Alright. That was not bad. That was perfect. Okay. That's exactly the way I wanted to handle that. Good. And the Atlas does handle uh, heat much better, which is also what I wanted. So our target's going to be up here. Process of elimination here. Perfect. Hey, 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 hey. Let's just back off. Cyclops. That's gonna be a problem. Put some missiles into that. It's a. It's fine. It's arm rather. All right. Nice shot, Seraph. Oh ho ho ho! Direct hit! Oh, there's our target. But still, I'm glad we've, uh... Shit. Not how I wanted to do this. Yeah, I didn't hit the head like I kind of wanted to. Oops. I still think I'm okay with how I've done this, though. Alright, I think we've handled this pretty well. Yeah, we got reinforcements coming though. That's the only part that sucks. Do we fight or do we... You know what, fuck it. Fuck it. Let's just fight so we don't have them shooting us in our backs. That was actually a really bad shot on my part. Oh, you're getting roughed up, buddy. I'm overheating. Shit. Come on. Fire. Fire. There we go. Got it. Alright. 
Man, Major Deal got really fucked up. That was bad. I wonder how bad we... <laughs> he must have taken an L... <laughs> well, no, the that Atlas variant doesn't have an AC-10. So I don't know how he got fucking lit up so bad. May have been an ammo explosion in just the wrong place. Because he was fine, and then all of a sudden I'm like, wow, you're now in the red. <laughs> like, how did that happen so fast? But it can it can flip just like that. You know, one critical one critical hit in the wrong spot, and you just went from being pretty much just fine to now being in real trouble. Bastard. Where are you? Yeah, I definitely fired quickly before I lost target lock on that little bastard. Good. Okay, I thought a turret was going to come out of that. <laughs> All right, let's see how badly Deal got damaged here. That sucks, but oh well. Yeah, I didn't take enough to, to bring this along with me. Um, yeah, and we cored it. That's all right. Um, we'll take that, I suppose. Um, I mean, I could take this Wolverine. Why not? We'll take a tier four medium laser. Chemical laser, huh? Yeah, why not? We'll always take tier four stuff when we have the option. How bad? Oh, you lost a leg. Okay, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. So it's all to one location. All right, nice. So we picked up a gauze rifle, ER large lasers, a couple. Of, yeah, right. That was that was not bad. And we killed five Orion mechs. Ooh, we picked up a nice uh, SRM plus Artemis. Very nice. We just get leveled up our mech hunter. That was good. That was very good. All right. So now that we've done that, I think we're. Oh, we still got to do a, the job item. Uh, all right, let's take a look at the cantina. See what... Oh, my God. Kill... Uh, or fuck. Well, we could at least now pick... I suppose we could pick that up. Mech Hunter. Well, we're going to see Stalkers, so maybe I should just take this one. Yeah, we'll take this one. We'll take that one. Okay. Battle Mechs. I'm not going to worry about the Stalker at the moment. We will repair you. We'll repair you. You should be there. Uh, and we'll repair you. You can go over here. Yes. This will do. Okay. Stalker, I'm not going to worry about. We'll repair the Stalker in all due time. We got a bunch of missions here. We got an objective raid, a demolition, and an assassination. Raid contract, multiple mission, multiple mission. Ugh. Wow, a bunch of multiple mission operations. All right, well, let's go to Edinburgh and hope one of these has... A good mission for us. For that. Fingers crossed. It was disappointing about the Kentaro, but... Oh, we got a... Another transmission, huh? Operation Anada, huh? It's been a long struggle for the free Rahasileg Republic to remain an independent state. Especially when our former oppressors still eye the territory we fought for generations to liberate. We thought that our national nightmare of continued oppression under Kyrian warlords ended a year ago when we emerged victorious from the Ronin Wars. However, some Ronin from the Combine, under the banner of Satoshi Takeda, are still hungry for blood. Despite Conray Theodore Kirita's expedition force of loyal Combine troops that assisted the Republic in eliminating a majority of the disgraced Ronin, not all of them were killed or captured. They survived fueling resentment towards both the people of Free Hura, uh, of the Free Rahasileg Republic and Conray Kurita. For the past year, Satoshi Kadeda, Takeda, formerly a member of the 5th Amphibian, Amphibian Light Assaults Group, has rallied surviving Ronin to his banner to continue his crusade of once again subjugating the Rahasileg people in the name of Kiru, uh, Coordinator Takashi Kurita. Recently, the group was able to take control of the entire system of Tegolin, which they now have claimed to be the lawful subjects of Takashi Kurita. Oh, God. 
The coordinators remain silent on the matter while Conray Theodore Curita has publicly denounced the actions of this group, but he refuses to once again send troops into Republic space to deal with the Ronin, while our diplomats with the Combine are hoping we can find a peaceful res uh, solution to the matter. But the Republic cannot stand by while our citizens are once again subjugated under the boots of Combine citizen denizens. We need assistance in dealing with Takeda and his forces. While the Republic loathes to seek the assistance of mercenaries after many of them abandoned us during the Ronin Wars, we are still not in a state we could take out Takeda on our own. We will need to link up with the first tier. Uh, we need you to link the, the first tier regiment to assist them in ending the ambitions of Satoshi Takeda. The first operation will involve setting up a base of operations in the territory that's fallen under Takeda's control and clear a way for the first tier to land on Degelin and Arm. We ask you to join our forces defending our position to clean out any Romans for good, and they'll give us a uh, pretty neat Orion uh, variant, which I will probably put immediately into law mothballs, but whatever. Let's take a look. We've got an objective raid, huh? All right, and this is where we'll collect our Mio encrypted transmission. So yeah, let's uh, do this. Uh, Kirita is sending us against pirates. First, perfect. Our intelligence apparatus has identified key supplies that are essential to our enemy's war orphans. Get in and get out with those supplies. Perfect. Let's do this. Um, yeah, I like at least making a million sea bills. I, I, I try to at least get in and out of any mission um, with a million here. All right, let's go. Let's go that. Let's go that. All right, we're ready. We're going to be ready. Okay. Give me two seconds, folks. Uh, just got back. Nice. Uh, give me two seconds. I'm going to refill on soda. I will be right back. Awesome. Okay. Right. Definitely not bringing that stalker in. <laughs> so we are switching that stalker. Uh, 
before I start messing around with that. Ah, much better. Okay. So yeah, we're definitely not switching. We're not bringing that stock. By now, uh, Archer T. Perfect. Very good. I don't know. Maybe I should change the paint schemes of the Hero Max. I generally have tried to keep the Hero Max uh, original paint schemes, but I'm, I'm. This is like, this is totally hideous, right? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. La We've been hired to red for supplies. That VTOL is on our list of targets. Let's make our quarter. <laughs> oh my god. That thing got fucking completely destroyed. Oh, one of them snuck in behind us, huh? Fuck. Okay. Good, you guys got the one that was behind us? One of the items Wait. of interest we're after may be found in this location. Try searching in the spots designated on your map. Alright, we're not dealing with... Oh, fuck. What the hell just shot at me? Oh, nothing shot at me. I'm dealing... Okay, I'm over the wreckage or something. Okay, I saw sparks from the wreckage. Uh, Alright, so I'm better off going to the right here. Alright, we'll go this way. Okay. Sorry, took me a second to orient myself to the map. All right, which way are we which way are we going? Oh yeah, we we chewed through that uh, opening force pretty well. Good. I love wide open spaces. I don't. Mm. Got it. I didn't even have a good sight of it. I just kind of saw it through the woods and took my shot. Uh, I think somebody hit it. Again, they had cover of woods and I still managed to... That was honestly just a lucky shot. I just kind of saw about where it was and hoped it. I would hit it. Yeah, fuck Unfortunately, they're really taking advantage of uh, all the cover here. Oh, shit. Got a problem here. Wow, they're really uh, sending a lot after us. Fuck. Gotta deal with that. Gotta deal with that Zeus. Oh shit! That was dangerous. Okay, this could be a problem. Oh my god, it hit me in the head twice. Shit! If they get a headshot on me now, it's over. Despite the fact... Good, we got it. That was fucking bonkers. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. No, I need to destroy that tank. Oh, damn. Wow. Well. Got it. Yeah, I think you're still over here. You are. Got it. Okay, now we can go over here and take these supplies. And we can go over and get our raided stuff. Oh, what else we got? Do you guys see something? Okay, you got it. I cannot take any damage to my head now. Any damage to my head and this Highlander is gone. Which really sucks. Considering how little damage I actually have, this has uh, definitely added some stakes here. I don't know, maybe I should just switch to the... Uh... You know what, maybe I should just switch to the other mech now while I can. You know what, let's do that. Let's not fuck around.
Let's not fuck around. Let's not fuck. Let's not fuck around. This this mech is technically more damaged than the Highlander is, but I don't have to worry about a headshot. That really was just absolutely horrible luck. Where is it? Ah, it's over here. Let's go get it. Ugh, oh, god damn it. Fucking tank. Got it. We got it. Just in case they were flammable. I didn't think they were, but why take chances? Poof. Another step. Thank you. All right. Excellent find, Commander. Beginning recovery now. Mm. Man, that is a beautiful fucking moon planet. I don't know if we're the moon or if we're the planet. <laughs> Although that is pretty big. We're we're probably on the moon of that planet. That's my guess. Yeah, that's got to be the planet. <laughs> that was a crazy fucking fight, man. Eh, skirmish. But all right, we survived that action. Nearby. I don't have visual on it, but you got it. Nice job. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. Damn it! All right, let's deal with this fucking wave first. Got it. You. Yeah, we gotta we gotta deal with this skirmish first before we deal with that. Damn, we just wrecked that fucking mech. Okay, we got that one. Good. All right. Okay. So despite the various angles they tried to get us at fought off that. I mean, I theoretically could have just come over here to try to grab it, but to sit still with all of those uh, various enemies closing in, I felt like it would just be asking for uh, asking for the mech to get completely shot to kingdom come. Well, yeah, sure. Why not? We're getting a lot of these in this mission. Always good to restock on ammo. Hell yeah. So my AC-10 uh, ended up getting a little bit of a reload for the AC-10 and the LRM and the SRM. Not that we really needed it, but whatever. I think we'll just go through this way. There will probably be something out here to defend it. Let's find out what. Hopefully nothing worse than two fucking Zeus's. Was it two Zeus's or just one? Now I don't remember. Although we'll find out, won't we? Ho 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 ho. Ah, I just fucking shot that office building instead of the tank. Got it that time. Deal with that. We got a mech coming in. Well, there's... Get away from 
away from that charger. Oof. Yep, don't want to be around that. Let's deal with this tank. Oh, you guys already got it. Nice job. I was just making sure we weren't going to get swarmed. I know there's a tank over there. I just don't know where. It's behind there. Oh, you got it. I saw it explode. <laughs> Alright, so there's our... I can't believe... Yeah, we did deal, deal with two... Hi, kitty kitty. How you doing, Cleo? Who's a good girl? Oh, I might lose target on it. Nope, I didn't. Good, we got it. Let's go behind the building. I think you guys got it. Then we just need to evac. We'll see if anything shows up now. All objectives destroyed. We are inbound on marked evac point. Good. Get here as quickly as you can, Commander. Oh. Yep. It's usually how it goes. A dropship will land pretty much just like this, but fuck it. Fucking us up. Ugh. Come on. Thank you. Ow, ow. Where is it? Damn it. I can't see the other thing. Damn, I missed the shot there. Got it. Well, that was bad. So that just happened. I have no idea how I'm still alive. <laughs> stay on this side of this building. Although it was pretty cool to complete two Cantina missions. We just got the Zeus one. So we picked up a tier 4 large laser there while we were at it. So what the fuck is this? It's a Highlander that had a fucking katana on it? Holy shit. And a PPC. Well, we were certainly selective with our damage. <laughs> we didn't even breach the armor in any other location. So at least in that sense, we were efficient. But god damn, man. Um, Alright, well, let's take large lasers, because we tend to like those. We'll take those, because we do tend to like those. Uh, we will take the tier 4 machine guns, because they're tier 4. Uh, let's see, we got 4 left. Sure, we'll take 2 AC5... Uh, rapid fire. That works. This works. All right. Wow, I took a lot of damage. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. All right, that worked out. That did work out. Hey, job rewards. Let's, uh, let's pick up our heavy rifle and uh, better part of six million. The important part of that was we got more XP along that track. Okay. Is that everything we needed to do here? I think it is. So. Uh, all right. We need to go. We need to go over here. But we're this close. So why don't we just see what this hero mech is? Let's also repair. What's up, Pete? Hi, cat. Hello. What you doing, Cleo? Hi. What you doing, sweetheart? Hi, baby girl. Who's my good kitty kitty? Oh, bonk. That was a... Yeah, you gonna bite my foot? 
you shit. Really? A fucking hero? You know what? Fine. Just to get it off the fucking market. I hate that so much. <laughs> I hate that I have to do that just so it won't keep giving me pure shit. But it's, it's where we're at. Alright, so... Oh, yeah. I just, yeah, I just got its leg blo- Wow. Uh... Didn't have a whole lot of armor on its right leg, but yeah, it just got its left leg blown off. It's a little bit of an expensive repair bill because it had to replace the left leg, but nothing crazy. That really is not crazy. Um, upgrades. Do we are? Do we? Are? Yeah, we already. Did. So that's fine. Let's repair. Nothing completely crazy. Just out of curiosity, also, how close was I to dying? Yeah. That was bad. That was very, very bad. Only 10 points of damage still left in the structure of the head. That is crazy. That is crazy. Oh my god. Wow. Alright, yeah. We're pair all. Uh, we're, we're good here. Um, I don't think I've got an SRM 6 top tier yet. Do I? Got it. Yeah. Oh, I know how I usually would do this. I remember now how I used to like to do this. I used to like substituting the LRM 20 with an LRM 15 top tier Artemis. And then I would put in an SRM Artemis over here and then I would fill out the rest with double heat sinks. I wonder if we could do that. I wonder if we could do that. I don't think I like that plan at the moment. Eight tons versus... Yeah, we would save three tons there. Uh, and then the swap in there, you're still ahead two tons. Uh, and then you can put in a double heat sink and then maybe a double heat sink over on an arm to get blown off eventually. That's not great. I think we're fine here. I might just, I think we're just going to keep the SR, the LRM 20 there. I'm not going to, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel on this. I think that is just fine. Let's, uh, re jeez, man, that was a lot. <laughs> but didn't lose any components, so... Yay us. All right. That worked out very well. That was a good... This was a good industrial hub to go to. I didn't... I thought uh, more would happen with that, but you know what? That's, that's real. Okay. Equipment here. Rapid fire AC-10. Mm -hmm. But at this point, I've got... Well, you know what? Now I've got enough where I really don't have to worry about that. Same with that. Okay. I don't see anything else I really want to do with my battle mechs at this time. So. Let's head here. We can't make it the whole way. So let's go to Avon. See if there's anything good in this industrial hub this time. As we make our way over. Oh, you got a toy? You got a toy? My cat. <laughs> My cat loves her toys. Oh, I could just buy an Atlas D. But again, I'm not really, I'm not a real big fan of, uh, of the D variant. I'm, I'm just, I find it very underwhelming. Unless there's any top tier, I don't see. Ooh. Yeah, that. That will take. I still don't think I'll even use that, but whatever. Yes. Not top tier, but. What do we got? We got a cantina there. Let's go check out the cantina. See what equipment there is. Sucks to kill two weeks on that. Fortunately, this hasn't been in-game the most time efficient because we're jumping huge swaths of time. But at this point, we're warmed up, so let's do this cantina. Oh, yeah? Mm. That's really not all that rare. We still got a bunch of these. It's on sale. I mean, it's nice that it's on sale, but I don't see anything here that was 
worth our effort. Well, a top tier flamer, but who gives a shit? Anyway, I don't hear. Cantina time! What do we got? Equipment collector. We've got that. I don't really. I mean, it's nice to get 2 million C bills, but. Hey, that's the only reason to do this. Uh, collect one Victor mech. Well, we've. Okay, yes. We are gonna do this one. Let's cash this in. Collect one Victor. Uh, yeah, the 9B. <laughs> Not the Basilisk, but we will turn in the 9B. Hell fucking yes. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, do, do. Yes. <laughs> We're getting there. Cool. Very cool. Uh, let's go back to that cantina, see what else we're doing. Collect one archer. Mm. I mean, it's nice that we're getting mech collector now. It'll give us a couple of masks. I think we actually have an extra archer. Take a look. Yeah, we've got an archer. All right, fine. Fuck it. Why not? Collect an archer. Sure. Let's do it. The non-archer variant. This is why we collect a lot of those mechs. For just this reason. So that we can continue to move along on this. So we still... We're only halfway on the Manticore units. We're starting to get closer on the warrior units. That's what's going to be really nice when we start getting that close. Uh, I don't know if I want to bother. We're already maxed out equipment collector. And I don't really care about a heavy rifle. Um... I mean, we already have the mask mark one though. You know what? Fine. Let's let's Sure. Two million C bills is two million C bills. Fuck it. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. Uh where am I going? Let's go Sulafat. Let's do this campaign mission. Because I think War Dog is the one that gives us the speed boost. And that's the one I've been really anxious to complete. If we can. Right? Because operations is up here. Yeah, we've we've maxed out equipment collector. And we wow, we've actually done a really nice job on all of the Cantina missions here. We are getting really close. But yeah, War Dog is the one we really want. Because that boosted top speed really, really makes a fucking difference. Um, I actually do, I am actually kind of okay with minus five heat generation. Um, it's just minus five heat generation in general is really nice. Now, I don't know what the difference is between minus 2.5 weapon heat. Oh, right. Minus 5% heat generation. Um, reducing heat spikes. So I think it is just, uh, this just reduces heat all in all. So if you combine the... I don't remember how these work. I actually don't remember how that works. So obviously this reduces the heat... Uh, the, heats that, uh, the heat that weapons generate. But I feel like... So I guess when the mech is moving, it also... This just it applies ubiquitously? That's a little weird. Maybe I need to look that up and see exactly what the difference is between the reduced heat spikes and the weapon heat transfer to see which one might function better. But whatever. Um, we're here now. Campaign deliverance. A local noble, noble has grown overconfident and is starting to wage his own campaigns. Beyond the sanction of his superiors, we need you to break his siege of a local city and resolve this mess quickly. We're giving you carte blanche to, uh, as to how you achieve that goal. So just as long as you're successful. All right. I don't think this... I know it says campaign. I think this was one of the other optional things. Now that I'm looking at it. This doesn't, uh, doesn't look familiar to me. Let's make three million sea bills. And let's just go. Yeah, perfect. Heads up, Commander. Weather conditions in the area will restrict visibility and have an effect on your sensors. 
Done. Let's generate that. Kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Maybe I, maybe I, uh... I'm pretty sure the campaign made us go here. Granted, it's been a couple of couple of weeks since I played this, but I feel like this was where the campaign was sending us. Granted, we uh, got a little distracted. <laughs> are the most likely areas where we'll find them. Be careful, as they have many supporters in the area that are more than willing to die for their cause. I only see one area. Am I crazy on this? Right? I see one area. <laughs> but alright, whatever. Speaking of mods, it really would be a nice if... And I don't know if this is possible with a mod, but it would be nice if someone could get the ray tracing implementation of this game to work properly. Oh man, I must have just missed that fucker. I know I hit you that time. That was an absolute direct hit. <laughs> I just didn't do enough damage to kill it. There we go. Good, yeah. Continue to send, uh, continue to send war dog type stuff after me. Hopefully we go to another cantina and they give us a little more war dog so it's easier to get to. The faster we get a little more speed, man, that'd be so nice. A lot of these missions will go a lot faster because we'll get to our objectives a lot faster. I also didn't notice much of a difference when uh, I would toggle the ray tracing on. I really didn't notice much of a difference with the lighting. Now the ship looked a lot different. The actual leopard looked dramatically different. Direct hit. Now I don't know why I did that. We wasted that locust. Holy shit. Fuck. Well, that's a problem. Damn it. Wonder if I could get the head here. Dead. Oh, fuck. Fuck. That is not what I wanted. <sighs> that could have been an absolute fucking disaster. Holy shit. That was a fucking atlas right in my grill. I don't think it even hit me with the AC-10. Or with its, with its AC-20. Holy fuck. Fucking hell. Target is in the field, Commander. They're marked on your tactical display. Another fucking atlas. Fortunately, we dealt with this shit up here first. Alright, let me deal with some of this shit around here while you guys focus on that. That was a nice shot. <laughs> nice shot, Seraph. 
You got it before I did. Kitty cat. What are you shooting at? Well, whatever you're shooting at, it's going to die soon. <laughs> Alright, anything else around here? Mission accomplished. Got it on that shot. Print shot. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Oh, man. I missed this. Running around in stompy robots, just absolutely obliterating these things. Yeah, there was no way we were going to get a share cost of that. But that, I think, is okay. Let's take another catapult, just in case it ever wants two of them. Um, and that, I think, two large lasers would be fine. Unless there's anything else in here that we want, which I don't think there is. We're fine. Cool. Wow, you gained, you leveled up three. Holy shit, Fugati. Nice job. All right, my pilots are getting better and better. Perfect. Well done, Commander. The siege has been broken. We've been paid and the ISF have promised us more work in the future. Can't ask for more than that. Perfect. Oh, and we got an, oh, we did get some good shit. Oh, and we got an AC2 to your top tier. Sweet. All right, let's speak to Fahad. Okay, that was all right. So that was the campaign. We need to do. Hi, Gov. Thanks for stopping by. Rihanna, tell you I wanted a word. Well, I do, mate. I definitely do, because the situation down here is bloody ridiculous. It can't keep going on, eh? I mean, just look at them, standing around like they ain't got no worries in the world, and me busting my balls to get these mechs put back together. It ain't right. You know what I mean? Not really. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Oh, look, mate. No disrespect to whoever's been doing the job till now, but you've got to start letting me hire my own people, eh? Seriously, this lot, they're a bunch of bloody dossers. Try to light a fire under them and they just stare at you like they're deaf and dumb. And you wonder why I complain so much? If it were up to me, I'd fire the lot of them. Okay, I'll see what I can do. All I'm asking, mate. A bit of help, is it? Gonna get back to work now. Thanks for listening. Talk to you later. <laughs> oh, Fahad, never change. Never change. He is like the crankiest mech tech I've ever met. <laughs> I much prefer Yang, but oh well. Commander, perfect timing. Spears has a new mission for us. Good. Securing the connection now. Go ahead, Sebastian. Commander, good to see you. A shipping company. Mostly supplying food, medicine, and materials to the outer settlements along the periphery is being run out of business by raiders. My agents assure me that Comstar are the ones ultimately responsible for this egregious act. Paying these raiders to drive the shipping companies out of business means that people living way out here, completely isolated, will be forced to abandon their settlements. They'd have no other choice. We may have crushed Inferno, Commander. But Comstar's tactics haven't changed a bit. Comstar wants to consolidate their control over this region of space. Maybe they believe it contains more Star League facilities and more treasure. But I suspect it has more to do with the location of these settlements and the possibility of prying eyes. This area borders the periphery, not too far from where the ancient star map we found ends. Beyond it is the missing section of the map. Here be dragons. Indeed. Full disclosure, Commander. I intend to lay claim to any archaeological finds we may discover in the name of interstellar expeditions. The mission I'm proposing is intended to undermine Comstar and their own efforts in that same regard. Though I suspect you'd like to stop Comstar as much as I would, especially seeing how willing they are to destroy innocent lives, I still want to make sure we're on the same page. We are partners now, after all. I would burn Comstar to the ground if I could. But unfortunately, I'm just going to have to settle for Yamada's head. If this helps that effort, and we can do some good in the process, I'm in. And getting our hands on some lost tech doesn't sound too shabby either, eh, Commander? Not shabby at all. Good then. The company's supply ships have been hit constantly over the past few months. Their main supply depot is the next logical target. If that gets destroyed, 
The company will have no choice but to fold. Their margins are tight enough as it is. I need you to protect that depot, Commander. Consider it done. All right. Good luck. I'll have the briefing ready by the time we reach the system, Commander. Copy that. All right. So, at this point, none of my mechs got all that damaged. Oh, but we can't repair here. Fair enough. Okay, so I can either go to Degalon. We could go here to uh, do this mission, or we could let's see objective logs. So here's Crimson Crusade. All the arms, those in need. Oh yeah, Lyran Rebels. Where was that? That's actually not all that far away from here. And we could also do that one. Granted, that is going to be an absolutely laughable cakewalk. But at least we're in the region of space. We're, we're at least in that region of space. We could go over and do that. I'm almost... I'm, I'm wondering if it makes sense to try to do that. Or if it makes sense to do that. I'm also looking to kind of... Uh, I think this is a good time to kind of wind down. So I'm also thinking ahead to uh, the next time I stream, uh, which at the moment might be Tuesday or it might be Wednesday if I switch to a uh, just like twice a week type of thing um, as I try to figure out my semester here. But... Um, Tuki Yid. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's do that. Let's go here at least to uh, see what's up with this cantina. And uh, yeah, we paid all our bills, so we're good to go for another season. So that might be a plan, because then we might be able to finish off War Dog while we do that. That would be nice. Oh God, we got even more transmissions over here. Uh, oh, uh, okay, Commander, this is a protect and defend uh, op. I'll drop you as close to the supply depot as I can. Your job is to defend the depot and prevent it from taking any significant damage. All right, yeah, we will accept that. Uh, but primarily, I want to see... Man, they're not giving us War Dog now, huh? That's interesting. I mean, we've got two Stalker mechs, but the problem is we need we need them. Uh, oh, man, you got to be kidding me here. Wow, that's actually... We need to think about that. We gotta think about that. We are seeing catapults now, though. So I could just... Instead of doing the two... We could just go with the Mech Hunter one. That's a little more likely. And we'll just pick up a Tier 5 ER Large Laser that way. That might be a little easier than this one. But boy, man, they really fucked us on that one. Uh, but alright, you know what? We'll figure that out next... We'll figure that out next se uh, Next session. Let's just save here. Let's save his Groomium. And let's see who's on Do we uh, that we could raid out to. Uh, that's going to conclude us for today. Let's let's see who's raid. Let's let's see who's on. Let's say who's on that we can we can uh, we can raid out to. Because uh, I think that that was a good good amount of uh, gaming action. Um, let's see. Let's see who do we got. Who do we got? Oh, Kara's on. Yeah, let's go raid Kara. Let's go uh, raid him. He's playing Sea of Thieves. We'll say hi. Let's do it. Um, but yeah, that's that's the plan here. Come on. There we go. Uh, let's get that nicely set up. So let's see. Um, cat underneath my chair. No cat underneath my chair. Okay. So yeah, that's my plan. Um, and like I said, this this semester is a little a little crazy. Uh, so I still need to figure things out, but I am at least better now. Um, I think we'll we'll just kind of wait and see if I'm doing going back to the Tuesday Thursday routine, or if I just switch to uh, maybe just doing Sunday night and Wednesday night. I might just do that, um, just because I've got <laughs> at this point I'm looking at uh, a lot of reading and a lot of writing this semester, so I might just do that. But we'll see. Um, I think we'll. Tuesday night will be very telling <laughs> how this all goes. But I want to thank everybody for dropping by. Uh, if you're hanging out with the raid, feel free to drop by and uh, say hi to Kara. And um, he's, a, he's actually also a really good IRL friend as well. Uh, he's a cool dude. 
So we're gonna say hi to Kara and uh, make a lot of noise. It looks like he's playing Sea of Thieves. I've never heard anybody complain about Sea of Thieves and play it as much as he does. <laughs> so that's always funny. Uh, but in any event, I hope I'm I want to thank everybody for coming out and rending your weekend with me. And I hope everybody has an absolutely fantastic week. And until next time, I will see you all approximately later. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.